Hey, hey, what's up, ecosystem? Do you guys know Serge the Car Hauler? Well, we're live at Creeps Tea House in West Springfield, Massachusetts. This is an experiment. It's Tuesday nights live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back again, Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay, your host, and I'm live from Creeps Tea House in West Springfield, Massachusetts. So, this is an experiment. Um, the idea is to do more live shows from various locations, uh, especially with mats coming up. We've got mats at the end of March, and so we're going to be live from there. Uh, in fact, there we go. There's the Auto Transport Intel logo. So. So we're, we are live. We're in the restaurant. We're at Creeps Tea House. This is um, this is the menu actually. This is where we're at. Can you guys see this? Creeps Tea House. And I know if you saw the uh, if you saw the thumbnail, um, we're sharing how we're gonna be here. We're gonna have tea. We're gonna have tea with Serge the car hauler. Actually, I'm gonna pour some tea right now. So I've got uh, I got a little honey here, and uh, put the honey there. And then this is um, this is some Japanese. I don't know how to say it. If it's getting my ka, getting my cha, somebody might help me out there. But um, but I love this stuff. It's green tea with kind of a. You guys see this? It's like a it's like a green tea with uh, with kind of rice. You can see the rice at the top. You guys can see that. By the way, how's the stream? Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Let me know. So, um, you know, and there's not a lot of fancy camera dollies. You know, the, the camera dolly truck didn't show up, so I don't have the camera dollies. And um, makeup and wardrobe didn't show. Uh, the uh, even the sound guys, you know, they're they're shut down because of the government shutdown. Mmm, that's really 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 good. This is you gotta. If you're ever in West Springfield, Massachusetts, get you some Creeps Tea House. I'm telling you, this is great. Now, we've got some food. I think there's some food coming. I had a crepe earlier. I'll show you some pictures, too. So, anyways, all right, so we are uh, we're in. You know, if it's your first time to the show, you know how this works. First, uh, well, if it's your first time, you don't know. But if you are a regular on the show, you know that we do the welcome. We run the car hauler. We've done that. Then we're going to go in, uh, into a hello in the live chat, and that's going to happen here in about a minute. Um, we're going to jump into industry news, which is, you know, memes and pictures and information that I got off of Facebook. And then we're going to jump into it. We are going to have a live interview. It's not an interview. It's tea. It's tea, crepe, food, time with Serge the Car Hauler. So, you know, who's Serge the Car Hauler? Well, we're going to talk about it. We're going to meet him. All right, so let's go into uh, let's go into the live chat. All right, so I'm gonna back up here, so you guys are able to let me know again. Let me know how the audio is, if the video is good. I, you know, I'm using the uh, Wi-Fi here at Creeps Tea House. Dave Williams says hello. What's up, Dave? How you doing, buddy? Um, can't wait to have you back on another panel, Dave. I appreciate it. Uh, we got Matt from Anytime Towing is in here. That's great. Thanks for tuning in, Matt. Um, oh, Kevin. Uh, 
Kevin. I do that. See, listen, there's a difference between you got the you got the YouTube name and then your actual name and your passport alias. But um, Roxy Auto Transport is with us. Welcome to the, back to the show, Roxy Auto Transport. I appreciate it. ABC123. Hey, what's up from Jacksonville? Thanks for tuning in from Jacksonville. Serge the Car Hauler says hello. And Serge the Car Hauler is actually here, so that's kind of <laughs> trippy. Um, Bad Apples, what's up, Bill? Becoming a regular. Thanks for tuning in. I, I think you talked to Ty recently. You know, if you have questions, you can talk to Ty at CTS. Had a, I've had a lot of leads coming in lately. That's actually really, really exciting. Um, at this point, I think CTS, I think we now, we might have 100 names. I know that's hard to believe. So if you're wondering, gosh, those guys talked to anybody? Yeah, we talked to a lot of people. Uh, hey, what's up, Mike? Haven't been on in a while, out of the country for a while, just back in the States. Oh, that's cool, man. Thanks for saying hello. I've been thinking about you, Mike, so that's cool. Great to hear from you. And, yeah, Matt's March is coming up, man. we got two months. Um, cool. It sounds like the stream is doing good. Hey, Trevor Rice is with us. Welcome to the show, Trevor. I think it's the first time here. So, you know, it's a first for you, and it's a first for me at Creeps Tea House. Love this place. I've been actually, I've been here all day. I flew in uh, to Hartford about one o'clock today, and I've been I've been hanging out here with uh, Serge's uh, dispatcher Dan was here with with him, and I was here hanging out, checking emails and stuff. This is a great place to hang out, and a lot of car haulers hang out here too. I got to see the yard down the street. That was cool. Uh, Ernest is with us. What's up, Ernest? Thanks for saying hello, man. Um, and then, oh, Candy's with us. Hey, you're going to go make some. I'm telling you, hot tea is great. This is the perfect time to have hot tea. I've been drinking green tea all day. It's awesome. Hey, what's up, Rob Mason? Rob says hello. Yo, man, thanks for checking in. Thanks for saying hello. I really I appreciate it. I'm so glad people feel welcome to check in, so that's cool. Uh, Richard, here, here you're perfect, but you don't want to see me. <laughs> okay, well. Well, thanks, Richard. That's great feedback. So it's good and bad. Uh, trucking answer is creep, creep, creep. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, I, I can't, I can't get enough of this tea. If you are in, if you're anywhere near West Springfield, Massachusetts, which I think is close to Connecticut, Connecticut, Massachusetts, right there. Go ahead and stop on in. This pot, this is only nine dollars, man. That's a lot of tea, dude. So it's really good, too. I recommend it highly. Uh, Matt, okay, Matt says the sound is good. That's awesome. My makeup looks good. Well, thank you, Candy. I mean, that's just awesome. Man, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Uh, Trevor says, Trucking Answers, what's up? That's right, Trevor knows Trucking Answers. You got. If you don't know Trucking Answers, you got to go, go to YouTube. Just go to Trucking Answers, and that's Mark. Okay, if you've got trucking questions, he's got trucking answers every Monday live at 1 p.m. Eastern and uh, very popular. He gets a lot of views. There's a it's a big show. It's awesome. It's really growing. Uh, Lamont says, what's up? Hey, Lamont. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, let's see here. Shannon Van Sickle. Oh, hey, what's up, Shannon? Yeah, it is different. I'm having tea. I'm at Creeps Tea House. Yeah. And it's not just tea. Let me tell you something. Look at this menu. Okay? Let's just look at this, man. You got you got tea. You need you, oh you, you haven't you you don't have enough tea? Really? Oh yeah? You think you got tea? Seriously? Tons of tea. Dude, this place has serious pages of tea. And then if you're hungry, oh yeah, get in you got the pancakes. And then you get into some actual some dishes. There's fish and stuff. And look at this. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh, and here's food. Oh, check this out. There you go. Wow. Nice pancakes. Perfect timing. So Yuri just brought me. Check this out. Okay. 
So what? What is Hi, this? Hi everyone. Yuri? Hey Yuri, what what do we got? So what's on? So this pretty much plate? what we have at start. That's the platter of the pancakes. Basically, it's a mix of everything. One okay. of each. We wow. have six pieces in it. Okay. <laughs> These two with fruits and butter sugar are sweet. That's traditional uh, Slavic pancake. The, the Russian people call it uh, oladi. Then the, another one we have farm cheese. That's a uh, homemade cheese made out of the goat milk. Also, we have beef, potato, zucchini, and yellow squash. My mouth is watering. Yeah. The next thing we have is a little bit warmer. That's the um, Ukrainian vareniki. Oh, wow. Uh, or how people from Poland call them uh, Polish pierogies. Oh, Polish pierogies. Oh, yeah, they are. There's a mix of awesome. the, um, the one with cabbage and bacon. The okay. other half is uh, homemade salty farm cheese. Cabbage and bacon. And okay. that's the last oh, thing. Oh man, and here's the grapes. Oh, look at these things. These are fried crepes, uh, stuffed with all of the berries. It's a blueberry, this blackberry, is, raspberries, and strawberries. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Yuri. That is amazing. This is crepes to yes. You got it. I mean, I, it's unbelievable. Tons of tea, tons of food. So I don't know how I'm gonna now. Now I gotta do a whole show with all this food sitting here and menus falling off the table. All right, well that's okay. It's live show, so you know. All right, well I'm just gonna drink tea for a little bit. All right, so let's keep going. We're in the live chat. Okay, so we got Trevor's here. Oh, okay, Kimberly, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah. You're checking in from KC. Well, of course you are. That's where you're at. And I'll be back there in a couple days. So thank you for your help. I appreciate it. And Kimberly put together a montage. I took some photos today. Kimberly put together a montage, so I'll share that too. Um, oh, Silverman says hello. What's up, Silverman? Oh, Big Papa's with us. Hey, what's up, Big Papa? Hmm. Yeah, I got JD in the briefcase. Uh, let's see, Ivy, Transport, oh cool, let's see, you just came in through uh, Facebook, you're in my neck of the woods, how, how, well that's pretty cool, yeah, and actually you could, that's a, you could say that, because there's, you know, woods and snow and uh, American history, hello from the freezing northeast Pennsylvania, Brian says hello, hey what's up Brian, Mike, oh M Fields is here, oh I gotta, I gotta read the intro, Jay, want to give Serge, I got an enclosed trailer. Oh, well, we're going to talk about enclosed trailers today because that is Serge's forte. So, yeah, we're going to definitely talk about uh, enclosed trailers. So you're going to want to stick around for that. Luxury auto transport, right? See, I read it so much. Now it's starting to stick in. I'm starting to actually get it. Uh, Michael S. Hey, what's up, Michael S.? Thanks for tuning into the show. Yeah, we're live at Creeps Tea House. Listen, if you just tuned in, I got food on the table. I got hot tea in the cup. And uh, I'm not going to eat in front of you, but yeah, I definitely want to eat that food. Well, me, maybe me and Serge will dive in. So Serge is going to be with us shortly, just doing the regular intro. And, you know, we're in a working restaurant here. We've got the parking lot outside. We're up in Massachusetts. It's a, it was a sunny 19 degrees today. Uh, Ricky Lopez, Ricky from Hot Shots, 305. What's up, Ricky? Thanks for saying hello, man. Then I got to put scotch in this later. You know what I'm saying? Ronaldo, Cruiser's Path. Jay, what's up? For any chance trying to put my Infinity brand new Dodge to work. I'm in Florida. Any advice? I'll tell you what, Ronaldo, here's what you do. Um, thank you for asking. So while I pour some honey in my cup here and I add some green tea, I'll tell you what. You know what you want to do, Ronaldo, is you want to go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com. I'm thinking the top's going to pop off that. So go to CTS. Go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com, and um, or you can send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com, autotransportintel at gmail.com, CTS as in car transport services, ctsbusinesscoaching.com. We just need your email address, we need your phone number, and contact information, what you're looking for. And then we'll uh, we'll put you in touch with Ty. Ty is our lead coach right now, so our executive coach. So yeah, so we can help you out. Let us know what we can do. Uh, do they have ELDT? You know what? I don't have it. 
I don't have my ELD Kool-Aid with me. Dang it. I can't believe I missed that one. It's okay. I got I got hot tea. Uh, it looks delicious. I know. It really does, man. It's from sitting right here. And I love to try different foods, you know. Um, these pancakes look awesome. I can't. And the pierogi. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. Uh, okay. And you're here. Big Blue. Cool. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, guys, I am going to, we're going to do a little bit into industry news, and then we're going to bring Surge in, and thanks for letting me know that the video and the audio is looking good and that we're all good to go. I appreciate that, um, and um, yeah, Johnny Walker, I'm with you, man. Let's do this thing. Um, here we go. Let's do some industry news. Okay, cool. What if you and uh, let's see, where is my industry news? Here we go. Oh, okay, let's do view by list. Hey, this is a live show, man. Anything can happen. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And, all right, so first up, you guys know how I do this. I like to do, do some industry news. We're going to talk about stuff that I found on Facebook. Now, this is interesting. It, it might seem ridiculous, but... Um, Troubleshooting, Advanced Calculator, Coffee Locator, Passion to Drive, Integrity, Dislike for Idiots. That's a big That's a big portion. DOT Radar, Dispatch BS Sensor, Sense of Humor, Sarcasm, Foul Language, CV Slang, and then there's Navigation. Mm-hmm. That's about right. Arrive early, you're wrong. Arrive late, you're wrong. Arrive on time, you wait. Sums it up. Uh, the new bridge by Hot Wheels. I love memes. Send me your memes. Autotransportintel at gmail.com. And don't be shy. Hit that like button. Uh, we have more Bird Box. How, how much longer are we going to have to see Bird Box stuff? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a few more weeks. Um, that's not good. Looks like a science experiment. And then I, I thought that was interesting, you know. And that's that's pretty much what you got to do. Otherwise, you've got a. I think somebody said otherwise. It's it's just a sliding brick, a big sliding brick. Okay, that's not good. You don't want to see that. You don't want the boss to see that. You're pretty much not. Who took that? Who took that photo? Oh, and there, in case you uh, in case you got a little scratch on that pickup. Go ahead and fix it up with some fingernail, extreme <laughs> polish. Uh, hey, by the way, this is actually this is pretty good advice. Don't book stuff right when it gets posted first thing in the morning. Be patient. Wait for the good stuff. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to show you, give you a sneak preview of a video we just had edited. That'll be cool. Okay, guys and gals, here's a PSA. Just learned about it yesterday. For the ones... Not that one. For the ones that have e-logs on your phone or tablet, you should Google guided access for your phone or tablet and turn it on. It will lock the unit down, and only the e-log app can be accessed while it's in their possession. That's pretty good, man. So when you hand that over, when you hand over your device for the e-logs... Yeah, man. Lock it down. See if that works. We gotta, we gotta keep some of that information to ourselves. Um, I saw this shared. You know, we know this, but not everybody does. So if you're, if you're a regular person and you happen to stumble on this show, and you're wondering why you're here, well, let me tell you. The trucker spends weeks away from the family while many enjoy meals with their families. The trucker eats alone, sleeps in noisy parking lots to get a little rest so they can keep going in order to keep the nation's needs supplied. So, you know what? Thank a trucker, right? I try to I try to hit on that every week. People just don't realize, and this is actually, here's a pretty long letter about, just another example, where, you know, it's not easy being out here. Thank a trucker. Tell a neighbor. Uh, good afternoon, I just sent you gate passes for Mannheim, Nashville. Please let me know that you received the email. Okay, how many total so I can double check? Eight. Got all of them. Have a safe trip home. Great, thank you. I know there's some bad weather coming, so you and your men should be safe. There's no rush. Your lives are more important than used vehicles. You're darn right. So thank you. Thank you for being understanding. 
Really appreciate that. Uh, let's do this. Let's do, let's watch this video. Let's see, where is the video? Let's pull up this video, and while we watch this video, we'll bring, uh, we'll get Surge in here. Um, so, um, here we go. Here comes a video. Let's see here. Let's go here. Let's go. Oh, I got to make sure this audio's up. And let's do this. All right, here we go. Give dispatchers some tips where you find loads besides central dispatch. Hey, now there, that's a good point, Keenan. Y'all too busy busting them load for us. Uh, <laughs> central dispatch is where you are going to get your leftovers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean loads. <laughs> The more you stare at load boards, the worse you feel. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, it's like carbon monoxide. So you go up there, you get your leftovers, you stand in the buffet line, and you move your tray down the to the, the metal, and you, you know your you got your milk is falling over, and you're you're dying for some chicken fried steak, and everybody's gathered at the end of the line, just waiting for the cafeteria workers to come out and just put that one bowl of red jello out. All right, and everybody's standing around, looking at each other, pretending they're on their phone or whatever. And here comes the lady, and it's just one little bowl of Jello, and everybody scrambles and dies. And there's steak going everywhere, and chicken legs and gravy, and you didn't get the red Jello. Now what do you do? Is that that's your business strategy? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's really good. Wow. Okay, you guys. Here it is, man. Surge has joined me. Let me, let me. Uh, oh, here we go. I got, a, I got to change a setting. Hang on. Oh, there's Surge. Hang on. Let me change one setting here. And let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, there we're seeing the sky. Now let's go to. Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? It's craziness. Absolute mayhem. Okay. Okay. Cool. There we go. Okay, now let me stay right there, sir, because this is live and I'm running camera. <laughs> All right, we got a whole full table, dude. We do. I know we do. I know got some we do. art. Look at they got some art here. This local artist. Oh, right here. The, I was see that on the oh, wall. That's cool. Yeah, so they got it in the menu too. Wow. Yeah, the menu is really elaborate. So, hey guys. Uh, help me welcome Serge to the show. We're, this is our first Jay. time. This is our first time. Yeah. Hi, Jay. Yeah, dude. It's our Hi first time. I know. Here we are. And we really, you know what? We haven't had a chance to even it's hang out and talk because I've been setting up and got you got your shirt. Finally. Dude, this is your mug, dude. And a mug. Yeah. We, we can drink out of it. Because you got the VIP <laughs> back like VIP. months ago or something. So... Yeah, yeah that's, you're at the Krebs Tea House. It's pronounced Krebs Tea Oh, it House. is Krebs. Okay. Okay, so uh, I get the power shot. It's all the vegetables. Yeah, that's right. You're way into the vegetables and stuff. It tastes pretty good, actually. Got a hint of lemon in it, too. Dude, Candy says, yay, Surge. Now, that's really nice, Candy. Listen yeah, hi, Candy. Come yeah, on out dude. here. It's so... Whoa, we're breaking the windows. Oh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's cold outside, like it's okay. but the tea here is hot. So, um, it is. This is really, this is nice. So, yeah, anyways, I've been working um, out of a company in this area for the last year. And the Krebs Tea House has been a place. My yard is just two blocks away, the yard you've seen. Yeah, so I saw. I just yeah, come right here down the road. to do my trip reports. I come here, wait for the check the emails, upload videos to um, Serge the Car Hauler to my channel, and um, new guys that get hired. We do interviews here, and it's just really convenient place. Um, yeah, and uh, so kind of a this place location. wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for the truckers uh, that come here so much because they they get. So much business, and I mean, I've seen a lot. Actually, I've seen a lot of people here. I've been here today, and I mean, 
you've got, I don't know, it seems like several different groups of people. This is a popular place. Yeah, so stop by West Springfield, Massachusetts, Union yeah. Street when you're in the area. Um, but one of the reasons why I want to bring you out here, Jay, and show you uh, Western Massachusetts is that uh, I was always wondering, like, the, when I first showed cheers up. Cheers to you and your mom. Um, yeah, I'll so cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah get some tea. Yeah. Let me try some. Have you had, this is really good. This is the, this is the Japanese, it's like a green tea with rice. It's called Genmai Ka or Genmai Cha. I don't know which. And I love, I love this tea, man. Cheers, dude. Thanks for having me out. We're drinking hydraulic fluid. E-L-D-T. <laughs> Somebody's wishing. I hope it's hydraulic fluid. Dude, Bill saying what's up, Serge? But Silverman saying, hey, Silverman says, hey, sir. Oh, here comes my dinner. Make way. Oh, I'm telling that. Uh, we need two tables. You know what? Seriously, I am dying to eat something. So get started. Good. I'll talk a little bit. And uh, you dig in. Wow. And oh my so I got myself just to. Uh, yeah, here, let's show. It's called the, uh, the Chicken Napoleon with a Buckwheat. So let me turn that. Wow, look at that, man. Ooh. It is steaming. You can Thanks, see the right. heat coming on. All right. Wow. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat some of these. Jay, it's nothing special. It's just mom's cooking. It's how you grew up in Soviet Russia. You know? <laughs> this is what you ate. This is what you ate. Um, so, yeah, they got the hot sauce. And then I even keep my own cayenne pepper here at the Krabs Tea House. It says Surge on it. Surge is, Surge is oh, cayenne. Oh, awesome. So you can just ask for it. They leave it in the fridge. <laughs> We're on the shelf. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, one of the things I wanted to sh uh, share with you, Jay, and the, the car hauling industry is uh, the, this is the crossroads of New England. You know, when I showed up a year ago, I was like, what's going on with all the comrades here? Why so many of them? Why in this small town of West Springfield, Massachusetts? When I first invited you out here, you were like, wait, what? Where are we going? That, Massachusetts? There was, there was a lot of West trucks in that yard. Well, that's, that's just one yard. There's several others out here. And uh, and there's just car haulers after car haulers after car haulers. So after a year of being out here, I realized why they're here. It's because it's the crossroads of New England, the most saturated area. Okay, all the big cities are within an hour or so, you know? Really? A little bit more. So now. Okay, okay, those so cities you got are Boston. Okay, Boston. You got, you know, I'm going to Math, um, to New Hampshire tomorrow to deliver a couple cars. My car hauler is out the window there. Both of them. So you're right out there. Um, so yeah. The big oh yeah, there you are. Yep, right back there. Um, so uh, we got New York City. We got Connecticut. We got Hartford. We got um, Vermont. We got upstate New York, Albany, all within a hand's reach of here. So no wonder why all the comrades and all the car haulers are gathering here. That's why. Uh, because you could go collect roads. all your cars and meet them at the yard, repackage them, put them, and then uh, set your ship set sail to California or wherever you're going. You know, and, um, That's pretty cool. So this is uh, a place where I'd like to set up a base for the company I'm building. The car hauler company, and I'd like to invite you, Jay, to be uh, part of that. Um, okay, so I don't. The, the company that I'm starting is not my company. I only have one share of stock in it, one dollar. Actually, I did buy 50 more shares of it, but I wanted it to be a company that that is just for. The, the, the drivers, you know, the guys, us, the internet, you know what I mean? This the, is your American dream. This is my American it dream. Is. But I think it's many others' dreams. It, and, and, and so we have... A fleet is many people's dreams. You know, it, it, it is. what should I say? Uh, how long have we known each other? It's been a year or so, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say a it's year been a year. So, you know, and here you are face-to-face -face in reality. You know? Right, I'm here. But behind me is... A couple other mm, others of you from YouTube, my friends, all the way from Europe. 
No, I'm stoked. That's awesome. Stoked. You know, here as guests. I'm not stoked as, you know, and, yeah, you've got uh, friends here tonight as guests. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, Absolutely. Um, all started with videos that I made on the internet, on Surge, the car hauler, on YouTube. So, um, this is a powerful thing. And we're, you've been we're, making we're, videos for since 2014. Actually, I had I was gonna two say other five channels, years. two other channels that I forgot the passwords to even before that. So, and you know what's cool is, I was telling you this when we first started talking, is that I was working in a dispatch office and the year was probably 2014 when one of the dispatchers said, have you seen Serge the car? And I didn't even know, I didn't know what he was talking about. I'm like, how do I see Serge the car? And he said, well, go to YouTube. And I never thought of going to YouTube to see yeah, car hauling. Yeah, stuff. even before like people vlogged, and I just made videos on my on um, Windows uh, Movie Maker slideshows of you know probably a hundred photos of cars that I've hauled, and I just put on YouTube with some music. And anytime I heard some kind of uncertainty over the phone, you know when I'm talking to a broker or a future customer, right? I said I would tell them, hey, why don't you go check out my video on YouTube? It'll, it, um, I'll send you the link right now. What's your email? Or go on there, and um, and have a look. And they look and look, and they're like, "Oh, you haul the Bentley, you know? Uh, and I'm hauling a Bentley. Oh, you can take mine, you know? Boom! The uncertainty was gone. They see my equipment, my trailer. They seen similar cars that I've hauled, like theirs, and gave them peace of mind. So um, I I knew that I had to um, keep doing that to uh, get people's trust, you know? So you should do that. I invite you to <coughs> vlog on YouTube. When I first made videos- It's hard to take the time, I, isn't it? It's hard uh, to take the time. I mean, I, yeah. I get that, you know? Well, how should I say? Yeah, that's one, that's your issue, baby. But for me, Good point. I didn't even know in my first videos, Good I didn't even point. know what to say. I didn't even know what to say. I just do a walk around the car. You know, I'd watch Top Gear, you know, Jeremy Clarkson or those guys, you know. Well, there's a lot of shows and, and, now and, and, and about cars and they talk. To emulate. And, you know, I, I, I wanted to save the moment of the car because I appreciate these cars. You got to put the logo out, Jay. You gotta put, <laughs> I was put actually logo. thinking that. But I'm like, well, placement. Anyways, <laughs> we're working on that. I at least got my shirt. Yeah, he got his shirt, that. man. It's awesome. We're watching, like, we got two screens here. Anyways, <laughs> so um, I just walk around the car silently. And I'd say, today we got a such and such, you know. And then I started calling them the transport of the day. Hey, everybody, today's transport of the day is such and such. And then, you know, beforehand, I maybe would Google Oh, I like the transport of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, do more of those. You know, and be like, hey, Serge, look what I'm hauling, you know, and and then I'll uh, maybe make a shout out back to you, you know, send me the link. The more we communicate through the internet, the more others will see and the more our team can grow and the more power we'll have and the more we can shape this industry into what we think it is and we have a good clue of what it is because we're actually out in the field. Where are the drivers, not dispatchers like Jay? I'm not a dispatcher anymore. <laughs> no, I, I quit. No, actually, Jay brings a lot of knowledge to, to um, from, from from his point of view. I mean, I didn't even know what mix mix was until oh yeah, the name Jay, and now oh, yeah. I know. I'm sure now I know. I mean, people are real a lot of terrible mix, stuff mix. out there, you know. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna dig in a little bit. Yeah, you should dig in a little bit. Well, I'll say this is that. When it comes to the videos, I think one of the things is that when we make videos, oh, I think this is like a beat. Wow. Oh, yeah. beet pancake. It's a beet pancake, pancake with beets. Wow. A beet pan. I've never had that. Mm. Guys, Am I making you guys on. hungry? Mm. I don't mm. know. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks pretty good. You guys, I'm telling you. I've never had the, a beet pancake. You know, mm. yes. how should I say? I've, the, 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 the tonight, tonight like, is, is kind of like a car hauler. In, in People are like, I didn't, I didn't tune in to watch these guys eat. <laughs> <laughs> 
But no, like, what, this is probably going to be a thing where many people will come in the future and be like, and I, you know, I, Jay and Serge were here before, and we know why they were here. Right, you know? right, man. Once you, know. you eat that, once you get that beat, you'll know. No, I, I, I believe that too. It'll be like, a, well, I don't know what it'll be like, but yeah, somebody will come here one day and eat. We're by the window. We're in the corner we're, by the piano. We're all going to have a car hauling bass out of here. You know, this place. This, we'll love the open sign. <laughs> How should I say? Um, wow. We're making history. Well, we are making history. So that's the thing is that when we talk about the videos, I think one of the uh, one of the things that we all have to keep in mind is when it comes to the videos, what we need to do is we need to ask people, and so here we are, what do you want to see more of? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not me eating, but if you, you know, maybe you'd say, well, you know, I'd really like to see more videos about a car hauler getting loaded or unloaded or strapping down or driving on the ramps or dispatching or, or brokering. Car hauler boot camp. Right. Which is what we were doing here with my two new drivers. We got two trucks in the yard. We were racing each other from Florida. Okay, not racing, but, <laughs> you know, I'd load up a few cars. They'd come help me load them up. Then they'd go load up a car. And then we, uh, you know, I'd wait for them, and then we met up back on 95, and here we are. I beat them 20 minutes before they came. So to Krebs T House. We need Trevor, to know. Want to say hi? And let's invite them over. I agree. Let's do that. That's a great idea. All right, so we're gonna invite a few friends over here. I'm, I'm gonna move the camera back. Okay. Here. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's do. What's Let's up, go. Serge Big Papa from Let's Minnesota? Hello. Let's go. Because everyone buys shares in your own company, of course. But. Let's end that. All right, yeah. Hang on one what, second. How should I say? Um, one of the. Hang on one. You can keep talking. talking one of the things yeah. that uh, mistakes that entrepreneurs do is they don't spread the equity. And um, equity is like manure. You pile it up, it makes things stink. Oh. Okay, okay. You spread it around, it makes things grow. Yeah, let's do that higher. Oh, and you can see the car hauler back there. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's back there. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's that's pretty good. With let's, let's, go, go, let's go higher a little bit. And then I've let's got, oh, then I'm going to do this. <laughs> see, Jay, I knew I should have planned this. We're I was trying to say... I was trying to give Jay some advice. He was like, no, I got this under control. <laughs> you know. You... <laughs> there we go. Thanks for showing I think up. we're in, right? Man. Yeah, All the man. way from. How's it going, man? Hey, oh, man. Illinois. 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 Illinois, Illinois. Illinois from the cornfields. Awesome. Man. Awesome. Man. Terrible. We had a good time at no, the beach the other terrible. day. It's the heartland, man. Yeah, we, we uh, our governor just passed uh, tax, like, and I guess now girls can tax their abortions in Illinois. What? Yeah. Just I just saw that on the Facebook news feed. If anybody wants to fact check it. Alright. So well, anyways, how'd you uh, yeah. tell, uh, tell me about your dad and how you got interested in car hauling and how you found us on the internet. That's, That's a actually, great idea. That's that actually is a, a pretty cool idea. story. Uh, so cool. when I was 20 turning 21, it was on my birthday on July 16th. Uh, my dad and I actually sat down and had a, our first beer together. And mm, wow. yeah, we were drinking Bud Light and Natty Light. And, That's uh, awesome, man. We had our first beer, and my dad is one of those hardworking blue collar guys. He's worked for Ashley Furniture uh, for over 10 years now. He's a two million mile driver with them. Oh, wow. And uh, before that, he actually car hauled for four years. And <clears throat> one of the things was he had a wife and kids, so he stopped car hauling. Mm -hmm. And he started getting into Ashley. You're on the road all the time. Yeah, so he, he yeah. wanted a regional job. And uh, and finally, he he sits me down. He never pitches me anything. He's not, he's not really a businessman. He's just a hard worker, nine to five kind of guy. Um, you know, and he only loads 40,000 pounds of furniture out of a trailer. And he unloads like three or four trailers a week. He's a crazy hard wow. worker. Wow. Yeah, and we're sitting down drinking a beer. And uh, he, he says, you know, son, I know you're, you're a businessman. I'm... He's like, I've never been that kind of guy. I've just been, 
the guy that works Monday through Friday and I, I put food on the plate in the dinner for your, your mom and for you guys and uh, she's like I think if you want any business I think car hauling should be the business you go into wow and that I've never heard about car hauling like I've seen it you know everybody's seen car hauling. it's the but, funniest thing you see it and you don't think about it yeah and and so that's what happened and I, I was know. like I was like so dad like well how does that all work and he, you know he he told me because I'm from Illinois I'm uh, 30 minutes away from St. Louis and he's like what you need to do is you, you, you're 21 now so you're old enough that's why I told it to you He's like, you know, uh, go to a company over in St. Louis, see if they'll take you on, you know, get your CDL and right. uh, run cars from car dealerships to Quincy, Illinois and back. On the job training. Make some, yeah, and yeah. make some good money. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then he's like, and then you, you can buy your, own, run. Yeah, buy your own truck, get a trailer, and then start running. And uh, so I When was, was like, that conversation? Uh, July 16th of last, last year. year. Yeah, okay. so I'm 21 now. Okay. And he, uh, my dad... Uh, told me about this car hauling thing and I, like I said I had no idea about it so instantly I go to the internet like anybody else these days Yeah. and uh, I go to YouTube and uh, Serge the car hauler pulled up and it, the first video I ever watched is funny I've never told him this first video I ever watched it pulls up his money video like you can make some serious money in yeah, car hauling yeah actually that one that has the a checks. lot of hits yeah the, the one where I um, yeah deposited the FedEx checks yeah yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> Hello, Alex. Um, Alex lives by that bank. He's like, dude, when I seen that video, he's like, that's the ATM I use. He's like, I got to find this guy. He lives nearby me. So, hi, Alex. Um, <laughs> I'd like to see. Oh, here's a. Here, hey, TNT says, I'd like to see something a day in the life of a broker or listening on a couple real broker calls to get a real world idea of what they do. It's a really good idea. And also, you know what's cool? Chico says, he says hello. You know what? I was thinking of Chico. He's another car hauler that makes videos, loading cars, doing the job, getting the videos up, and he's got a family and everything. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. I have a... Yeah, I encourage everybody to just do videos, okay? Um, just just start, okay? Even if you don't know what to say, just, and it doesn't, just put something out there. It doesn't have to be one a week. It could yeah. be one a month. Well, Could be some photos. That'll make the community grow. And then guys like Jay and I and, you know, Ziggy Keller, we could really do something in the marketplace. Like, Jay, you mentioned, we you've been getting some serious attention. Yeah. Yeah, I have. So, yeah, I didn't, a, I didn't know what was going to happen. There's a lot of glitches in this industry. That means there's a lot of opportunity to fix them. Now there, so, that's a true statement, actually. So that's what makes this such a and, uh, opportunity. And, is and that there are we, so we could literally change the marketplace with a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually and pretty I'm crazy because you not, can hit Google but, Trending out of nowhere or, or YouTube suggestions and then it, blow up. It, it is interesting what's happening. Yeah. Well, I, what I want to ask you is that. Well, so what's the yeah? Hey, Nostrovia. Nostrovia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. Do you have do you have a drink? Is yeah. it over there at the table? Go grab it. Go, go grab, it. It. Go grab it. Drinking the hydraulic fluid ELD plate. Oh, look! You can see the teapot and the open sign. Here we go. Here's some cheers. Go. Cheers. So, um, yours is really hot. Mine's already cool. Yeah. Well, this one is. New. Hey guys, give us a big thumbs up. Give us a dollar. Somebody just put a dollar in there. You know, <laughs> let's Somebody break the machine hey, again. Yeah, you trucking answers. I've, already, I've donated you a dollar. You owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's contribute to the cause. You know, um, uh, how should I say? Uh, we we should hey, meet up, up, Shaggy. Meeting up on the internet is important. You know, that's how we get connected. This is pretty cool. But face to face. This is pretty cool. I'm like face to face is also really nice. This is so. This is fun. Uh, let's do more events like this. I hope we can do something again. I hope this isn't the only time we're doing it. And by the way, we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna continue this for another hour. So they close. Okay. So grapes closes at eleven. Okay. So it's nine forty-five. So our goal is to it's. Let's see if we can keep going for another hour. Do you guys? I don't know, is this working? Are we? You know. Are we accomplishing something here? Um, you put out great videos. Yeah, Big Papa says that about Chico. So here's one I ask you, Trevor. What's up? So what's happened since? So uh, are you pursuing? So he went or? on car hauling boot camp. 
Yeah, I went with Surge. Surge. You did. Oh, yeah. That's. Oh, okay. you were riding. Let me introduce Trevor just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. okay so cool. Trevor and I started talking probably four months ago, or something like yeah. that. Five months. As soon as he got on the road with one of those big box companies, I can actually say that, that, that give you anymore, that huh? give you the CDL, mm -hmm. and then they just. Uh, yeah, I don't say it. They just muscle. I mean, I want you to. But we said it in other videos. Yeah, I actually so, got I, I got viral on accident, but the cool thing was yeah. I was anonymous on a phone call, so they didn't know it was me. But yeah. So um, so Trevor and I have been keeping in touch, and um, I said you, you should come to this meeting. You should come to the Car Holler Conference here to the live stream. And to the meetup. He said he'd come, but then um, he wasn't able to make it. And I said, why don't I just pick you up? Why don't Why don't you just go with us and uh, tell him where it was when you gave me a call? He was in orientation. For a new local home job for trucking. And I was like, <laughs> listen, uh, if we can book a flight, I can meet you and we could go to the beach while I wait for um, my next load. Yeah, and it was okay because I, I, my recruiter, I, I didn't bring my glasses. So the DOT, I didn't know that when you go to a new company, you have to redo a DOT physical. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, well, it's already on my license. You know, I got my CDL. It's not going to be that big a deal. They'll just right. make me do a P test. Well, no, that's not the case. You have to redo a whole DOT thing. Oh, wow. And, uh, uh, that's good to know. There's a, yeah, tip, a good tip right there. Go to a new company, new DOT test. Make, yeah, make sure you bring your glasses. Be ready. Just uh, just wave. Just just wave. You don't have to show your face. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> so that's our mystery international Illuminati investor. <laughs> um, so he's going to back us up with any kind of financial project we need. Also, got introduced to to us to surge to surge the car hauler through a video. So uh, you just flew over yes. the Atlantic. That's how powerful YouTube is, man. It's crazy. We all just came here together. We didn't really dress up. We just came here together like last minute. Literally, I was driving a truck that's parked out. And I dress still. like this everywhere I go. You know, I walked out of my orientation that day when he called me. He's like, I will get you a flight, I'll pay for your food, pay you some money, get you and your girl some clothes, I'll fly your girl out here with you. Wow. He's like, I want you here. And I was like, Gotta keep this is just weird. Wow. I'm in orientation. This is like a weird opportunity, you know? That's awesome. And I was like, and then I, go back I told my, or my orientation, uh, my recruiter, I was like, you know, I don't have my glasses. Can I reschedule my, you know, to finish my orientation later? He's like, yeah, sure. You know, it was a home nightly and I get off weekends. So it was a good opportunity, but... uh. When Serge sent me out here, uh, he was like, you know, like, try out the car hauling first before you do that. I'm like, cool. I'm always into options. Look, at, we're invited to go to Las Vegas. Please contact me. Who says this? We're there, third one from the bottom. Chico, this is great. If you guys come to Las Vegas, please do contact me. See, I'll be more than happy see, to meet you. Yo! Guys, you guys, somebody give up? us a dollar for that And one. you know what's cool? <laughs> if you give us a dollar, we can put that towards Check Las this Vegas. Out. Eben at Synthetic synthetic oil protection he's in vegas really and i've been there telling him i want to do a meetup dude that's two for one i don't know if even's in here tonight but joe dude, I mean, this is a great idea I mean, jay chico we got to do our wow. hauling road show we gotta save mm. we gotta save the car hauling industry jay <laughs> one video at a time so and i'll say it so here's and the one thing. pancake at a time okay i jay's digging it into three man, different i can't i can't stop this is awesome Jay I, likes to eat. I, no, I know do. that about you, well, man. I, I like I like good food. You know, I eat a lot of Subway and stuff, and so <laughs> Subway <laughs> spinach salad on I the road. He knows now. This is my first beet pancake ever. You know, I can't stop. Um, so, um, but I want to say this: is that see, I, I want to say this. I I'm not saying I can change the world with a YouTube video. Okay, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that. I can help educate the car hauling ecosystem one video at a time. Okay. Yes. And I say it that way because I do want people to know that they can they can take this seriously in small bites. That, you know, I mean, it, this is my 60-something live show in a row, and it's going to take a lot more live shows to really... Put my it could take a thousand shows to put my arms around the whole ecosystem and get mass 
numbers. It could that could take that. What but does that word ecosystem mean? It means car hauler Illuminati meeting. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It, I, what is ecosystem? Mean? Let's introduce. Sir. I want to. I, I can introduce myself. I want. Let me try. I want to say this. I want to, and then you're going to introduce you. <laughs> okay, okay. But I want to say this. The ecosystem. The ecosystem is all of the people, companies and parts of this giant auto transport industry that all play a part whether you're a shipper or a broker or a carrier or a lead generator or the insurance agent or the trailer manufacturer maybe you change the tires maybe you're a welder it's all parts of the ecosystem and it takes the ecosystem to make the whole system function that's what i'm saying and that's why I talk about ecosystem. So, okay. um, it's a mouthful. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, how should I say? I, I like to have fun. I'm kind of a class clown. I'm kind of like that no. with my channel. <laughs> no. No. But, you know, there's a big serious side of me, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that I try to put on the internet is that this is a great American dream. What else other than boys with cars? You know what I'm saying? Well, and I like that message. And uh, we get to see other people's cars. One of the reasons why yeah. I'm so strong into enclosed is because you get to touch another guy's Ferrari. Okay, for me, car hauling isn't right. so much as making the money. Sure, you can make a lot of money. Okay, it's great. You know, we can talk about that. But last week, I spent three days with a friend that I made from car hauling. Because four months ago, or in the summertime. That's pretty cool. In the summertime, I hauled. Um, this guy had 30 cars in a warehouse, and he moved them. Oh, you were talking about the him. Ferraris, and um, some more Maseratis, and some Porsches. And I asked him, I said, hey, listen. Um, I texted him like a day later, follow up, Grant Cardone style 10X. Follow up, right? I followed up with him. I said, Cardone. I like this guy. I want to learn from him, you know? Um, I messaged him, yep, I messaged Nick, hey, when you're getting ready to sell your Ferrari Testarossa with just 1,500 miles, can I be first in line to buy it? He messages me back, ha ha, yes, sure, you know, thanks for the message. And I said, hey, listen, when I'm in town, can I buy you lunch or coffee, learn from you, maybe you could take me on some of your deals? So last week, I was in the area, I had some time off, I messaged him, bought a nice dress shirt, went, showed up, and we... Went around town and I seen the way he does his deals and I learned a lot from him and you become who you are around. Birds of a feather flock together. That's why we need to build the ecosystem. I love that. That's all awesome. you know. Yeah. And, and for me, you know, I, I've made so many friends that are, are, you know, more successful than I am and so many, you know, awesome ideas. You know, uh, another guy I hauled a car for. I just got off the phone with him on the way here. You know, he, we're going probably on an international trip together in the next few months, you know, because that's what we do. That's what friends do. And I hauled a Mustang for it before, you know, and we're just car guys having fun. So I take it to a fun level, to a networking level. I take car hauling. Yeah, you can make some money, build some wealth. Sure. But it's about meeting other people and uh, having fun with you guys. Let's read some of the comments. Um, you know, someone mentioned uh, about, Brian the car hauler. What's up? About what I said this morning on the post. You know, how should I say? And Fields is in, is in Vegas. You lot three sometimes. Wow. You know what I mean? I I have my good days and bad days. I really appreciate the encouragement I get. You know, um, we all do. That's listen. We all so, do. We all do. I, I, I know, like I, means I, a lot. I, 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 I don't like just on <laughs> what, what, I what should I put out there? I don't what like shouldn't them. I? You know how much personal stuff, how much not, um, but uh, and that's the thing. I I don't do much personal stuff. I also don't do politics. You know, and I just I I feel you like mean that insect blood sucking tick, poly ticks, many of them. <laughs> Never heard that. My uncle Alex, he's like little English <laughs> right. poly ticks, poly ticks. Right, that's why I don't talk he about goes, it, because it is, it's blood-sucking material. He also goes, his story. It's his story, not <laughs> your story. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just kidding. Go on, so, you know, but, but learn English. I, 
You know, and that's the thing is I, I really do, I try to stay focused on the car hauling information because I also know, listen. Yeah, Jay's a professional. Well, thank I'm you. I'm just an amateur oh, brother. troll. Listen, I'm, a, I'm a little troll. But I also, you know what I know is that to be in the audience, if, it, if, if you take a total left turn, I got other stuff I got to do. You know, I get that. I mean, I've got to return calls. I got to check I'll be emails. the guy that puts the logo the right way. So, right there, you go. See, he we got the advertising guy. He's got the advertising background. So I I know that the audience's time is precious, and so I'm trying to stay on track. So yeah, that, what is our agenda, anyways, for tonight? Well, this just is, drink some tea. Well, it, yeah, this Have is it, man. Class. We are. Come this is the agenda. We're we're enjoying our time. Cheers. We're enjoying our time because you know what? I actually what? don't like the flavors. I don't know why you had so many exciting, but I know it's I good for you. I love this stuff. And um, I don't know what it is. It's yeah, like, it's like you're like. Well, it's wait, not that's fruity. Kind of like, yeah, it's, it's not really it's not tasteful, fruity. but you're like, I want to have another. Faded you know Kool-Aid. Oh man, it just tastes like, tastes like I'm, I'm getting stronger and think? younger. Okay, <laughs> I don't know about that one. So, <laughs> I think this tastes like the. You know, you you ever unfasten a hydraulic fitting, and like some of that grease gets like, you know, just like some of that hydraulic oil, just mm. flings on your lip, and you're like, <laughs> it tastes like hydraulic <laughs> you're like, oil. And you're like, that's great. Cre- you're like, Craig will minute, love this. You know, you're like <laughs> promotion. <laughs> oh, n- n- Again, um, look at that. Oh uh, no, that's intense, man. It's really intense. So, um, give us a big thumbs up. If you want us to do this again, I know a lot of people couldn't make it. I know the part of the problem was that how should I well, say we're in the winter, okay, up north. Listen, it's kind of a and it's like everything else. It's a wait and see. Is it what's it going to be? Is it something I want to go to? Is it is it what's in it for me? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the time? And I understand. Maybe we that. should do like a three. Yeah, day you guys aren't salesmen, you know. It's not like maybe you guys we are should do a three day boot camp. Well, I don't know. Have a couple car haulers, people who test. And out. that's actually well, and that's what Matt's. Okay, so this this is a preparation for Matt's. Okay, and Matt's. There's more of a reason to go. It's it's a bigger show. So that's a Mid America Trucking Show. You go to truckingshow.com. If you haven't registered yet, you need to. Go to truckingshow.com, free registration. It is the last weekend of March, and you can learn anything that you need to, any products that you're looking for for your truck. Man, it's all going to be there. New trailers, that's a big draw. New trucks, but also um, better trucking systems, whether it's a, if you're having a fluid issue, an, an engine that you want, you know, you're looking to upgrade something. The Mid-America Trucking Show has everything. And that's where we're going to be next. And we're also, since Dave is from Nashville, uh, my understanding is Dave is going to be there. And um, we're going to watch him load his trailer. We're going to do that live. So I'm going to be there live doing the show. That'll be our next meetup. What kind of trailer is it going to be? You know? Um, I, see, now Dave talks about, I think he's got a four-car. This has oh, to be yeah. the best video. So, th- thank you, Big Pop. That's great. I think it's going really well. Actually, I wasn't sure what to, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. That's great. This, I think this video is good. And I also, listen, I understand who's got time to hang out with us watching us eat for two hours. I get that. <laughs> I really get that. So I'm impressed so, that there's so 42 people. You from the internet down here. Let's, That's, let's do that second quarter. Yeah, I'm helping you out with that. Yeah. Second quarter. Yeah, let's do that. If we so, could do this four times a year, we might be on. We might be able. That be that would be pretty cool. He put me in the first ever classic muscle car I've ever been into. What ever. was it? 1968 Camaro SS. Wow. 1968. He wow. Load. I trained That's him. Awesome. Yeah, he trained me like how to tie down straps and stuff like that. It was awesome. all assisted. You know. When when was that? When did when just was the today. training? The yeah. day yes, before yesterday. Yeah, like, before still yesterday. Awful. This is still <laughs> great. Man. This is car hauling boot camp. That's yeah. awesome, man. You know, basically, I loaded his truck and made him load it. I overwashed it and said, "Get in and follow my truck and help me load my truck." That's awesome, man. And so, uh, it was this an enclosed you. load? Um, no, was his open. was an open his one. Is open. Mine's an enclosed. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you start with open, right? My first ever. There's car plenty hauls. to learn with open. Yeah, yeah. eighty nine Civic. Yep, right. Okay. Now, we're gonna Great. deliver it in the morning. So. Right, Honda Civic, good place to start. 
So he loads, or uh, he went and picked it up himself. Oh. Nerve wracking. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> so, imagine. Um, you know, yeah, but, but I knew he could handle it. I was like, wait a minute. I what kind of can... pickup location was it? Uh, it's residential, like kind of like a co-park kind of. Oh, okay, it was, it was a it was a run and drive though, right? Yeah, yeah, they just forklifted it. On. Oh, they forklifted Easy. it. Yeah, okay, he just tied even it better. Down. Yeah. Okay, and then I was like, and hurry he... up, man, come on to lunch. The iron skillet, man, I was waiting for you there. Yeah, and the right. dude was like, and you gotta tell I... me. The forklift guy was like, you gotta tell me to uh, when to stop. And I was like, oh, this is crazy because yeah. so yeah, I have all this responsibility, you know? Yeah, yeah, because he's used to being a, a drive and driver. Right. Yeah. Pumping docks. Yeah. And here you're responsible for the load. Wow. Yeah. And I'm in a 1968 Camaro. Turns boys into men. You know, first time I've ever been a classic wow. vehicle. And I turn it See, on. See, it's I'm the like, excitement. That's and, awesome. And yeah. uh, how should I say? Some of the trolls might be like, "Oh, you're risking it." But you know, how well, should I say? Hey, it was a yeah, first for me too. What and car I, hauler I, hasn't gone through these moments? I showed up once, and the guy's I mean, like, "Hey, have you driven a three on the tree?" And I might have, but I was like, hey, <laughs> you, you, no, because I've seen a lot of cars before I got into car hauling. Yeah. And I was like, you know, help me become familiar with it so I don't screw up your car. And people will just show you, hey, this is how you do it. You just say, people hey. People want to help. Hey, they do. I'm not yeah. too familiar. Yeah, they do. Sure. Uh, you probably get guys that say, I want to drive it on myself, that mass, right? Jay, that's pretty close to me. I'm planning on going. ATI meet and greet at Mass. Oh. Oh, cool. Great expedition. So, smaller. Eric What's is going to be Jay? at Matt's. Oh, Grant, yeah. Grant found me on Instagram. Oh, really? Grant. Uh huh. Nice. Because now I'm on, I got YouTube, Facebook, hey, hey, LinkedIn, what, Instagram, what if we did Twitter. Havasa Falls. Or Havasa. Oh, Havasu? Havasu Falls. Lake Havasu, Arizona. Yes. I've never the been hike. there, but I've heard about it. 10 miles. Can you do that? I could bag. do a hike. You know, you're talking about Stairmaster at like night. Block. No, I'm not doing do Stairmaster at midnight. Mayor. But I can, a ten, wait, a 10-mile hike? See, we I need to be a like a team. Hike. We need to be. But I can do. I'm going to order you the helicopter then. <laughs> Give me an HVAC? No, no, there's a helicopter <laughs> that takes you there. For like <laughs> no, I'm not months. doing the helicopter. Wait, have you seen how I'm going to eat the beet pancakes. we got to be a family. I'm hiking. Actually, I like to hike. I just supposed to go I can't go zero to 60. No, we're not going skiing. Who oh, likes man. his feet planted videos. on the ground? Yeah. Guys, give us two yeah. likes so Jay will go skiing. Just two. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I can ski. How many likes do we have? I got a great snowplow. Uh, where where is the likes counter? You know, you can't we, see you that see stuff. You got to see it from the app. Um, you got to see it from I'll tell you what you can do. You got to see it from, from the phone. Here's what we'll do. Um, bear with us. We're, I'm going to... You can't see this window. This is on my other monitor, but I'm gonna we're gonna check yeah. the stream right okay, now and see so, how we're doing. So, um, um, but we're still on camera. They just they can't see us. Let's see. We got thirty five. Really good breeding job. Uh, thank you. Let me thank show you the menu from the Soviet Russian. Uh, all right, we got. Oh, I got. We got eight. Huzzah! Uh, you can have borscht. No extra that, calories. Borscht. There we go. We got eighteen likes and one dislike. Oh, man. Look at that. Or dislike likes. that you're, yeah, you're I already that got guy. A, I, man, I already got a dislike. Okay. Dang it. Uh, hey, if you hey, got haters, you're doing something right. Some people, Grant Cardone. Uh, no. Some people like coffee. You got it, you yeah. know. Actually, I was trying to calculate what's a, what's a regular percentage of likes and dislikes. I've looked at, like, Stephen Colbert videos and all kinds of stuff. Oh, like a good engagement, bad engagement video? Right, and your percentage should be around 2.5 percent of a like to dislike so what's interesting is i'm in there 18 likes one dislike falls within that 2.5 percent no more dislikes right don't 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 do it man <laughs> we just need two <laughs> likes do, and jay will go skiing <laughs> and how us falls and what else do we so ask? Guy, go go, go knock board. on your neighbor's door give this guy a like man he's He's falling behind on the 2.5. I mean, you've seen PewDiePie get that huge oh you know, my uproar gosh. of likes yeah. and everybody's doing billboards and everything. PewDiePie. Do that for us. <laughs> He's a legend. And actually, that's really interesting you say that. The dispatcher that told me about Serge the Car Hauler, he's the one that told me about PewDiePie. Wow. That was the beginning of me yeah, paying attention. You kind of remind me of him a little bit when it comes to personality. Hey, what's up? A little bit. PewDiePie is the man. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's pretty he's good. Cool. I really like PewDiePie he's kinda, a lot. He, he trolls. Yeah, he trolls, for sure. And He's then funny. the internet happened. <laughs> See, car hauling had a lot of opportunity. 
and then the internet happened. So don't be afraid. If you listen, if you're tuning in, I really, I mean it. If you're liking this, please hit the like button. Um, it means a lot. It helps me in the YouTube rankings and and with my ego. And uh, <laughs> this is fun. I, I, I am enjoying this. This is Jay, fun. The haters are watching, brother. They want to uh, be like you. know, the haters will Serge, always eat watch. your food. Haters I will hate. See you. Kimberly. Darius. Oh, hey, what's up, Darius? Oh, Darius. Rastamon. Serge, eat your food. He says He says you need to eat. Serge, eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't eaten, bro. Yeah, I've been eating, man. I've, I've eaten a lot. You know what? By the way, let's grab those crepes. We should eat each crepe. Um, you already had no, some? Are, yeah. I'm I'm cool. Cool. I, I really like I'll the power shot. Those plates are cool, though. It's like a... Yeah, you'd set that if you would. So, um, yeah, this is... Let's see. You In South this? Carolina, headed to New York. Dude, who wants a crepe? Huh? Grand Expeditions me? Hollers. What's up, Yuri? Come say hi. Oh, yeah, Yuri. Please say hello. Hello, Yuri, everyone. Yuri, he's the best. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yuri, you've been, you've been taking care of me all day. Here's, here's what you do, yeah. Jay. You go pre-trip yeah. inspect Yuri's your truck. Awesome. If, um, before you do, though, you call up Yuri. You say, make a power shop to go and a surge <laughs> salad to go. Oh, yeah. And then um, with salad. some buckwheat and boiled eggs. This is at like 6 o'clock in the morning when they just open. You pre-trip inspect wow. your truck. Yeah. And then when you get out of the yard, you just stop here on hazards. Get a search Boom, you run in, your bag's ready to go. Dude. Type five, Yuri. Dude, that is awesome, that's, man. That's how you work. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That is awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Yuri. Wow, that's actually, and, that, and then that's you're ready to work, right? You're awake. By the time you, you get got to protein, Boston, to pick, up, to pick up your car, Start you've your already table. eaten half that meal. That is a good way. And, uh, it's better than a Big Mac, right? Or Subway. Are you right. kidding me? Exactly. Look, at this. Look at this. Chester's chicken to start Big your morning. Mac. Chester's chicken. Oh, it's like man. mom's cooking, man. It yeah, is. You want to hear a crazy or, story? Or my ex-wife. Yeah. But it's so better. The, the, you don't have to talk to her. You're probably... You're okay. probably you're it's probably not that kind of show. Okay, all right. All right. All right. All right. Hey. Some of us, you know. I know. Hey. The, single guys. I know. There's a lot you know, of reality. I've been doing good in that department lately, though. I've been getting... So it's not that kind of show. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Yeah, Trevor. Um, so I the reason why Serge and I when we got connected it was funny because uh, I told him about my pay and he was completely surprised. I was at a mega carrier. Um, yeah. And as a new guy, you fall into that mega carrier trap. Their marketing is killer. You know what I'm saying? Like they have these big aha offers and these big uh, these big promises. Right. And uh, for me, it, yeah, for me, I was like banking on it. I, they they convinced me so well that like I was telling my friends, family, I was so excited, mm -hmm. you know. And the company was, um, man, if I like give away this, they'll they'll like look it up and know what the company it is. But uh, okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll just, just yeah, I'll skip that part. But uh, so I called Surge and I'm like, you know, 4,500 miles. My spouse has a CL tool too. We teamed up. Oh, okay. your spouse so is your CDL. Yes, we were running. Say hi, spouse, so we can. Say hi, Colleen. Yeah, she's with us. But uh, we ran team together, mm. and for a low week for us, we ran 4,500 miles. And mm. and we when we ran 4,500 miles as a newbie, we were running. Uh, by the way, that 4,500 mile week, we also had a live load, and two live unloads. We also had uh, a huge high value load that was escorted through Samsung. And like they had security officers and stuff follow us, but through all of that, my 4,500 mile paycheck was 398 dollars. Oh wow! And so was hers. Mm. So I told him you can make more bucks. money. So for for all that miles. work, man. All that right. work for 40 or uh, for 800 bucks for both of us to split. Welcome to car hauling. Yeah, and I was like, and Serge just showed me a way one car to put in the back of my trailer to pay me 400 bucks. You know. <laughs> To, for a three hour ride. Well, and that's why a lot of people want to get into car hauling, right? Because, yeah, I mean, the money's the, real. The, I mean, the, I the got money the customers is to, um, and that's I what say, I got some experience. And that's what makes all the difference is where do you get your loads? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Where do you get your loads? Do you, you get just, your loads off the buffet? Okay. If somebody could help me, I, I'll, I'm going to make a video about this. I need help. I've got a Toshiba hard drive. I'm missing the cord for it. I was going to make a video about that. I need someone to mail me. I got the answer to that question. On that hard drive, it's a picture. I'll, t I'll have to make... That's the next video I want to make. 
If I can say anything to anybody about car on, I've got a picture on that hard drive. The first eighty dollars I made in car hauling, local mm. towing car. Okay, I really? remember when this happened. I said to myself, I need to take a photo of this, and I said, Stop, let me take a picture. It's like your first after, dollar. When I first get that, when I get that, I'll show you guys. I'll make a video of all about it. I'd okay? like to see that. That sounds awesome. But it was my first eighty dollars. A friend called me, a friend of a friend, somebody said, hey, Serge has a, not a, even a trailer, a tow dolly trailer, okay? <laughs> and um, they had their car at the towing impound or something. It was a Dodge Grand Caravan. And they called me and they said, towing company's going to charge $100, $150 to tow it out of there to our house. Whew. Serge, can you go get it? I went and got it. It's hot. And <clears throat> I charged him $80. Massachusetts. That was my first eighty dollars. So, uh, how should I say? <coughs> Go to Walmart, office department, receipt book, three forty nine. <laughs> okay. I'm a QuickBooks you get guy. A, you get a trailer. Everybody is. You get a trailer. It's something to pull it with. Anything. Really? <laughs> whatever God gave you. You know, whatever you have. Okay. That's why. I, I'm talking about this picture because you guys will laugh your socks off. And the internet trolls, I like to see it. You know, but eighty dollars is eighty dollars, okay? And it's non DOT approved, but it doesn't matter. Okay, it, you just said it. What? Internet trolls. Question. Speaking of which, you still made more than me doing that eighty dollar trip. You can do that every day. <clears throat> Robert says, "Where's your channel? Where's my channel? Where's your channel? Uh, it's got." How should I say it? It's getting marketed we, we, right now. We we're want, fixing the tags. We want to change it up. Changing it. Okay. We want to, um, how should I say it? Perfect. Step it up for 2019. We want to do something different. So we're taking ideas. And we're working on a big project. Um, I can't say much, but rocket ship is a clue for those <laughs> who know about it. Okay. But you're updating. So, yeah, I want to just start over. Do you know how you want to update it? Do you know what you want to do to update I'm it? I'm open to ideas right or, uh, now. Th thumbnails, new tags. You're open to ideas okay. right now. Here's the problem with Surge the Car Hauler channel. I think I've the got problem jet lag is that too. I, um, I need to put a lot of effort into it. But I also enjoy being out in the field. You know, That's what I'm so saying. It's so hard it's to hard. juggle it. It's it is so hard. hard. And um, it really you either got to do one or the other or build a team. And I really enjoy being out in the field. I You have you know, Katya editing for you? Katya, and you, she does some editing, but how should I say? Sometimes I'll overload her. Sometimes. Because um, you shoot a lot. Sometimes I do. A, I don't know how you shoot that much. You shoot a lot. <laughs> he does. Do. Every he time we lot. stop, he's like, man, pull up the camera. We got a cool and beach I, video. Listen, and I'm telling you, I can't. I'm with Dan today. Dude, I'm behind. And he's I, showing me the yard. A, and I'm thinking about shooting him, talking about the yard. And the, yeah, yeah. His, and I'm thinking, yeah, but if I shoot it, I don't have time to edit it. You don't, dude. Don't you just have upload to. it. So just, just upload yeah, that's it. why my channel looks like a disaster. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, well, there you go. There you, go. It, it, you, you just do what you can. You know what I mean? Like, or you can do bulk, and, uh, bulk uploading. People understand that. We're on the west. Just Are we show, on the west show side? the hot girl in the car search. Maybe I can be the hot girl. No, I'm just kidding. Is that on there? Th that one video got deleted, it? too. I am. It's you, gone for sure. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, oh Paul's but, saying that. Yeah. Are we on the? Hey, are we it's on the a, west side? West Springfield. Yeah, we're on, we're on the, the west side. Uh, west Western Massachusetts. West side. Yep. Okay. So, um, my main thing was to connect to people. And uh, how should I say? Right now, I have so much messages in my But how? Box. I can't follow up with everyone. Well, so how, oh, we need yeah. to make a follow up department. Right. You know? <laughs> and I got to gotcha. try to help me with that. And Well, how about this? How about with some, with some of the content? If you want to stay focused on car hauling, maybe be open to some of the opinions of people like, hey, this this content. Yeah, I told them to do a survey. Yeah, yeah. right. There we go. Surveys. That's a yeah. good idea. That's yeah. why. That's what you got to do. Tiny, Reverse hello. engineer. That is um, a good idea. Ronald Tiny, he's like the godfather <coughs> of the Northeast. Exotic that is a good idea. Check it out. Tiny towing on Instagram. He's got like countless pictures. Car. 
of exotics that he hauled. So he's my mentor. We ran into him. He was supposed to come here, but he was on his way to cool Florida. Guy. He's so, cool guy. Uh, yeah, Serge, wear a bikini and just... So I think because I, here's what I think. I Don't think, tempt him. He'll I do think it. the internet yeah, wants. No, it. listen. No, 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 no more bikini videos. videos. Well, you know the internet wants a surprise and a logo. Yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah, thanks. Always got to teach that. So. I think that's part of... We're on to something to help, here. We don't know why. Hey, know to, I think to help move you back into the next chapter is that we help you refocus what you've got. You've got a lot... Listen, you just talked about all these great cars that you load, transport of the day, you're teaching Trevor. I mean, you have a lot to add. So take away yeah. some of the other distracting stuff. Just some yeah. of it. Keep Not the car hauling. I think that's I like when you go paddle boarding in Florida. Makes me want to go paddle boarding in Florida. We should all go. Paddle. But when you get pepper sprayed, I don't want that. Well, I don't that, want to get pepper sprayed. Well, and then it gets you away know? from the the car hauling, and then YouTube gets confused. You know, YouTube it, does. It get does. Confused. It gets confused. I agree with that. And it's you don't need fans. so much content. Yeah. Pull back less is more. Less is more. Less is more. Well, you know, uh, another thing about like. The strategy. I do. I did want to confuse some of the. the and it's trolls. worked, man. <laughs> you know, you have like, confused a you lot know, of I people. I showed up to to somebody's house, to a friend's house, and they're like looking at me, and they're like, "I thought you were in Florida, bro. What are you doing in Minnesota?" Like, oh <laughs> yeah, no. You know, I like totally you keep snuck up, up, up on somebody. You know, and and it's because I put up a video. I just published a video that I made a month ago in Florida. You know, and they just seen it, and they think I'm in Florida, but I'm. Hello. Um, <laughs> you know, so, um, you, you know, I do have a disclaimer in each video that says standard disclaimer. Well, here's star, one. Star. You know, if you do one in Russian, and I like it when you do Russian, but just it confuses me. Keep the, if it's <laughs> Russian title, I know it's Russian. If it's English title, I know it's English. Yeah, Something you can, like you that. can pay yeah, someone on fire. Yeah, like, that's been a big struggle, too, because uh, some like of the Russian do videos do Russian well, Russian. and... You know, um, there's a lot of Russian car hauler vloggers yeah. and stuff, and I've totally missed out on that because I'm more American. Um, but well, the cool thing is so you can pay someone it's, on Fiverr it's, it's, it's to a, do uh, transcriptions. Yeah, we need to work on that. Department. Transcriptions. It's it's like five dollars. So this is we, cool. We need We're to really make a whole talking department. Here. That's yeah. what this is all about. We need to make I a really whole department. Like that. That's another reason why he sent me out here too, is because like I own my own consulting firm and I work oh, for. Cool. Well, I work with uh, one of the Fortune 500 company franchises, Highway 55. If you guys ever heard of them? I, d I don't. Know. They're like a they're like a franchise that does this like 50 diner style. Oh, thing. cool! That's and awesome. I work with uh, a guy named Dwayne, and I do all of his social media and all of his online marketing awesome. and stuff like that. So, That's awesome. And then I work with other clients like lenders and real estate agents and stuff like that, and I help them. And you know, when we talk, it's like, do you, you know, know car hauling financial lenders? Trucks, trailers? No, I would never oh, even went okay. into that space. Like, okay. I know, I was before all this, I was in real estate. And the, the reason why my dad pitched me that on my birthday is because, like, I was making 5000 a year, 10000 a year, like 20000 in a month. Does he know you're live right now in Massachusetts? No, no, no. Oh, wow. I, well, I, I messaged awesome. him, but I don't know if you, uh, you know the live live. But <laughs> he's on he, the YouTube, what? <laughs> he, uh, he's not tech savvy, if you know what I mean. But uh, He's still trying to open his text. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he, my dad was like, Dude, why, you don't have any consistent income. You're like making all this money from real estate, but you like That's I'll awesome. make ten thousand dollars, right? But it'll take me three um, months. Sandman two three two four. It's called Tiny Towing. Yeah, it's in New Tiny Jersey, towing. right? Yep. Ronald Tiny, tell him Serge the car hauler sent you. You know he's a genius. You know he, he taught me the idea. You know how you put the straps through the wheels. You know, expensive oh. chrome wheels. You know how you could scratch the wheel with the strap as you tighten it down? You know what he does? Genius. You cut the toes off the, uh, the tube socks, and you slide the sock, oh, yeah. the, the strap through the sock. There's a spot. company selling that product, but I'm selling it. just cut your socks. Branding it? Or, or you like could just go it? to the Stuff Mart. There's a company doing it. You could it. go oh, to wow. the Blue yeah. Stuff Mart that you spend your nights at. And just buy the seatbelt shoulder straps. Uh, my dad uh, actually said he's found a cheaper that way than from that. Serge the car hauler. Right. My dad said he the, the sheepskin. See, oh no, man, that's a that's video a, right that's there. That's a life that hack. Is a video. Dude, I knew I knew La about oh, this before I even made, 
There we go. Hey, comrade yeah, life. I know. Comrade. You guys, uh, how should I say? Um, I enjoy being on the camera. I, I, I have two iPhones I'm always with, but how should I say? It's just overwhelming sometimes. I feel like I, I need, I don't know. Okay, okay. well, you know what? And sometimes, Not overwhelming. It's just well, um, and here, so sometimes, and that's where, like, I mean, like, friends, coaches, mentors, wherever you get advice, sometimes just getting out of your own head for a moment off camera, right? Let that stuff shake itself out and then go back on camera when your head's back in the yeah, game. Always like when a the player, they, they bring a player out. Listen, get out of here. You know, you're out. You're on the bench. You need a moment, right? You need sports medicine. I'm not trusting and then you're ready to get back to in. a tube sock. Nice try. <laughs> so my dad had this idea. What he used to do when he used to car haul, he said it was a cheaper idea than the sock thing. And I was like, how do you get cheaper than socks? He's yeah, like, well, what we did was we would get retired oh, man. fire three, extinguisher huh? hoses. Get what? Retired fire fire extinguisher hoses. Cut oh. the, the the female and male ends or whatever yeah, off. Yeah, sure. And then use put that through the chains. Are those like put the chains through those? Are okay. Those are softer than chains, obviously. Right. That's still that's like a woolly fiber, isn't it? Yeah, I something mean, like gotta, that. But he was. Put but what he? No, no. no but when he would chain the wheel them down. Straps. But see, see, yeah, Paul. Right. The thing with the uh, over the wheel straps <laughs> with the e tracks, you know, if I like to just ratchet. You know, sometimes I'll put like two hands on the ratchet and just really ratchet where the floor of the trailer starts just going up a little bit. See that car or, squat your, or your trailer starts to bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, it, it, here's another light hack. You got the center hook, the center hook on the on your three hook strap. Put another center wow. hook in there. So let's say you got an SUV right in your enclosed trailer. You go over the wheel, down. To the floor, back up to the frame of the Jeep Wrangler, and then to your ratchet, and you ratchet the wheel and the frame snug down like an inch or two. Right. Some guys have said so low that the fuel tank is on the ground. Well, uh, you know, so then you can get that extra clearance. Oh for the yeah, top right. Because they're trying down, to squeeze so you close your roof. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. So, yeah. so right. um, well, that's just, uh, on the high mounts, right? Then you get into height. There's a whole nother thing to think about. My bro said Colorado, they closed Ratten Pass last night, but they open now. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Hey, I think... Wolf Creek Pass ways. Of I think houses. car haulers are like the best revert, Up like guys that can drive divine. in reverse. Trucking on down. I saw oh, that yeah. when the I was calling divine. my yeah. first car ever. I got to the thing. Yeah. I saw this other car. I look up. He has an open uh, trailer. And he took a car, or SUV, and backed it up all the way to the top. Over. Right. Facts. Oh, and then oh, yeah. he stopped Forget it on a dime it. right on the edge. Forget it, man. Yeah. And exactly. I, I was so scared for him. I was like, <gasps> I was like how'd you do that so fast? Yeah, and he just, yeah. Woo, woo, like, it just yeah. stops on a dime. Or no straps, I, nothing. Or how I jump into Chevelle. <laughs> yeah. Up jumps into Chevelle, just jumps it right in front of the, you know, like, and the customer's like, like, wow. I was like, <laughs> 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 he was like, I don't even Here's drive my Chevelle like Here's that. A signature. Right. <laughs> I don't know how many Chevelles I've done. I've done a few. Yeah, he even taught me inspections too, which is cool. And he's like, "Oh, cool." Bill of Lady. He did like boot camp like three days, man. He doing paper bail wells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like circling everything. I feel okay, he he go show up to the customer before I could show up because he's like earlier, he's like ahead of me. Like I had a stop or something, and uh, he he does the inspection himself, and then I show up. I just engage my hydraulic. And he runs up and opens the doors and the ramps before I even exit the truck. And I just exit nice. the truck, That's hop right. in the we car, anticipation, and I just load the car. You got it. Imagine anticipate. if every car hauler had awesome. that kind of guy. Yeah, huh? Like, <laughs> so, uh, so right, um, like an old gas station where you pull in and four guys run old out. Old like, scope. <laughs> <laughs> stores, cut off the sleeves, you're gold. Yeah, there's there's another way to do that. What do you sleep? Oh, Ratton is I-25 South in Pueblo. Oh man, over there. Yeah, like uh, when you get into I'll the, read all the comments. Keep commenting, guys. When you get into all the elevation guys. in New Mexico and uh, Arizona, mm -hmm. like Flagstaff, that's a lot higher been, up than you think I haven't think been in Arizona in a while. Yeah, yeah I mean, you was can watching Surge videos for the longest time. I really thought he was a car transporter in another country. 
Yeah, what? I saw that. That's hilarious. I'm in a different galaxy. <laughs> Chico, man. Chico I'm in the American that. dream. Is this your American dream? It should be. If it's not, shame on you. Who stole your dream? Vile Are you stealing Chico. other people's dreams? Why don't you dream? Yeah, cut the sleeves off. Yeah, these, these life hacks. You, this you, is a you, great idea. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah, give away whatever life hacks you have. Life hacks. Oh, we to exploit them. <laughs> so, uh, there was something I wanted to mention. Where's your yellow pad? I didn't bring mine either. No, I don't. I don't really. Well, I don't usually have notes. Really? It was. No. I always have a yellow pad. Man. Well, I actually, oh, I have, actually, I do have a notepad over I'm here. Playing my. Uh, do you want the notepad? No, it's okay. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna announce what I kind of wanted to announce. Maybe in the next but show. But has this been what, helpful? What doing this? Like to sit here and talking? Yeah. Yeah, we should have more people. I think more people, microphones. Well, and more. And, you, well, you know, that's the thing. Exactly. So when we add I mean, more it'll people, come to us tomorrow. We have to improve the technology. It'll, it'll come and to that's, us tomorrow. That's the thing. Is Let's that? Let's do a second meetup. Yeah, actually, actually coming in. Have more just, than, uh, just cliff. with the limited technology. You guys run certain lanes right now. I'm running 95. Uh, sometimes I go um, Midwest. I try not to. I don't really care to go. How should I say? You like I really, mold. You go up I, and down the East Coast. Yeah, but I've been everywhere. That's common. Except Alaska and Hawaii. We have been talking to a couple of guys to do a little convoy to Alaska, but you're I don't not know going to that. Alaska. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> like I've heard people say, I wouldn't go. You wouldn't. But I mean, not I guess if you want to. No, maybe you, for the experience. You'd have to really. You have to really enjoy. Challenging drive, dude. There's a lot. It's of a marathon. Yeah, that's it's a long haul. Running up to Alaska is a marathon. That's no joke, man. Yeah, you never really think about that. Even when I started like trucking, and like, yeah, when I first man. got an ICDL, it is really freaking far. Yeah, it's a marathon. I'm sorry, the food makes the blood go. Oh, I know. I feel the same way. Right. You know, I don't think I've ever felt. You've seen. I've I, I've done pretty, edible stuff. I've huh? done two to three hour shows, and I think this is the most tired I've ever been at an hour and a half. <laughs> so I that's wish, a first. I wish I remembered this was happening today. I would have came. I live ten minutes. Oh, Look up now. No, no way. I should have announced better. You know, I have. I've announced them kind of, but let's no make the way. next one bigger. He lives ten minutes. Look, do you want to do this a year from now? What do you think? Huh? I, I am yes. I, I, I would like to do this. Maybe again. maybe we should do this I don't once know a year. When? At Chris, yeah, another qu or, a quarter seems too soon. You know what I mean? It's uh, it builds up well, the expectations. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll have hype some, it up. I'll say a year or like six months or something. See, you know, I was like dreaming of like valet parking here. This place, you know, it says over there on the sign, max capacity 65. I was hoping to right. do 66, you know, to. and, you know, get the police called upon. You know, what's a party with Surge without police, right? No, Jay doesn't like it. Jay, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, <laughs> like a party, a party without police is Jay called just, a party. A party with police? Well, no, we, we could be like we're at 66. It's not That's called just a party. run over. Well, Surge police. doesn't consider it's himself a party. That's here. called a bust. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's just gonna do one of these numbers. Sand yeah, dude, stop by crash exactly. the party. Somebody come on over. Like, we'll still be here. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we'll still be here another half an hour, right? Come on over. If you're ten minutes away, you can squeeze in the last twenty minutes. De just drive on over. Yeah, right now. I agree. You could just head on over now. Darius says six months from now. Uh, what's your favorite was, car? Was Serge favorite car? Yeah, oh, uh, that's a good question. You know, that's a tough question to answer. I really enjoyed a lot of cars. Um, my dream car, two haul, is a Jaguar XJ220. I've seen one, but you know that's like that, that, that's my dream car, and uh, I just want to see that's how it, cool. what it's like loading in the trailer. Probably really difficult, really difficult. Um, but uh, what's my favorite? Yeah, yeah. XJ220. Wow. I don't know if you can show that. Yeah, sure. But, uh, this is the dream car right here. Sick. You know, it, it's 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 so hard to find one of those because it was the, such a flop in the nineties. That is, that's beautiful. And uh, now it's like impossible to find. But I know where one lives, or two. Um, um, so yeah, that's a favorite. So what's up, Paul? Cool that is cool. Lowell just got out of CDL class. Home with the kids now. 
Oh, okay. Just got out of a CDL class. Call them children. You kids, don't know how much kids I are baby goats. CDL? Yeah, how much? Guess. Brian, the car hauler's uh, called. One ninety nine. Wait, what's up, Brian? <laughs> We're talking in thousands. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man. Dude, one thousand nine. They hit me up. They said with the company I was going with that we'll pay off in first year, a one year contract, normal, right? Uh, okay. If I if I quit the company early, which I did because of so many fluky stuff, but when I quit the company early, they said, okay, thirty nine percent interest at sixty eight hundred dollars for my CDL. What? The monthly payment on it for three years would be two hundred thirty eight bucks a month to pay for my CDL. Yeah. Yeah. What? Reason why they skyrocketed it so high is because they knew that the you know the company that I was with would foot the bill, and they have a re, you right, know like all these mega carriers have a re you know tuition it's reimbursement like government contract. Yeah. So what what these CDL sponsored places did was they'd ramp up the price all the way till like the end of that reimbursement amount, which was seven thousand dollars. So they wow. put up to sixty eight hundred bucks. That way they can just squeeze all the money they can get. Which for free. Uh, now the thing is, in you know, in free market capitalism, we all have the you know minimum and maximum year doing of our Northeast threshold. Of Florida. I do understand um, that. Pretty much all year. I don't know. The company is, are, is a start a car the company is code for Swift. Is there room? It's code for Swift. Swift. The company is code for Swift. I think this is right on our faces. Do they work for Swift? <laughs> Paul, is there room? Is there room put here to start car hauling? What? Is there room? Is there room out here? Oh, he thinks here? the company I'm talking about is Swift, maybe. Maybe. May, no, it's not, that's not Swift. But it's, it's like yeah. those. It's, it's, it's close. Well, I'll tell it's you a story how I got my CDL. Okay. I drove a one car hauler tilt trailer and uh, learned how to maneuver that really well. Hauled a bunch of scrap cars to the junkyard. And uh, then I took a course. I got the permit in Minnesota, which was pretty easy, like $50. And then there's a company called Class A Leasing. They have Chevy 550s or 650s, gas powered, but with air brakes. Hmm. Okay, so they're like quad cabs and they're all pulling. 18 foot trailers, <clears throat> one car trailers, like bobcat trailers. There you go. You take that to the exam station and you pass like that, right? Yeah, I know, man. When I thought about getting so, 7K for um, CDL, I, I was going to open up a school myself. So it was like, <laughs> it, it, it cost me $420, $420. You, they let you pre trip on that truck, they teach you how to pre trip, and then they let you take the exam on it. It's a three day thing. Yeah, mm. three days. They yeah. learn pre trip, practice second day, third day you take the test at the exam station on their truck. I can at least say they took me. So now, time. now that I think they they charge like six hundred twenty or something like that. So um, mm. there you go in Minnesota. <laughs> Message me, Serge Vorobiev on Facebook or Serge. There's a lot of on Instagram places. Yeah, bad apples. I wish I would have spent that much on my CD. I would have paid out of pocket any day of the week. Yeah, well, 500, yeah, that is good. We'll spread yeah. the word. Uh, you know, maybe we should keep saying that. Every Get kids year. away well, from Well, there's CDL a lot, programs. and there, there's a lot, I mean, it, all, I mean, plus it's all over the country, but there's a lot of CDL schools. So, yeah, I, and I got lucky guys too. are always looking for good recommendations. And I got lucky. I uh, And women. The company that, that was sponsoring my school actually pretty much admitted, like, hey, we messed up. You know, that's a breach of contract, so you're not responsible. So they kind of gave me a, like, I'm sorry. Well, you, if you want to quit, you can quit. It was such a weird situation because weird. they gave me a huge incentive because they wanted me to stay there. Like, we'll give you, the, you know, they 4,500 miles and they we'll paid pay me. pay you to stay. Yeah, they, they missed. I had 4,500 miles. Yeah, they only paid me for 2,900 miles. Is there a business out there to start a car hauling company business is what I was trying to say. Yes. Uh, the car hauling industry, we were talking about this with Dan earlier. It has a revolving door, kind of, right? People come in and out. Oh yeah, no. Every day uh, somebody, business, every day somebody leaves, and every day somebody joins. start a business plan. Absolutely. Okay, do ten slides. Here's how you put all your th thoughts in order and build your American dream car hauling. Type in Guy Kawasaki Art of the Start in YouTube. Guy Kawasaki 1020. Uh, I think it's 1020 50 rule. That's what his video clip is. Uh, learn that. All it is is how to put a uh, 10 slide elevator presentation. Okay. First slide. 
the company. Second slide, the mission. What's your mission? What's your company mission statement? So I was going to say, I wrote the 20 steps to start okay. car hauling blog post. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Now that was a year ago, and that was that was in mind of the smaller trailer. Um, I didn't I didn't really talk about high mounts, and I also don't talk about enclosed. So what I want to do is I want to update that and add lists of fees, and also talk about those other situations. So you're not just three or four car, but you're possibly eight or nine car, but either way, and that's what CTS Transport Business Coaching is all about. Go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com. And if you, you know, if you want to talk to uh, Ty, which is my business partner, you can. But there's many ways to go about it. And that's really what these videos, what we're trying to do is help. If you are interested, and it's not just car hauling, if you want to be a broker, if you want to get, I actually talked to a couple lead generators. Um, and maybe at the top of the list is helping new car shippers understand and be realistic about what it costs and what to expect. This isn't a pizza and it's a not Taco Bell drive through. All right, this is your car, this is your baby, and this is serious business. So uh, that's my goal is to help educate that. Yeah, also, I think uh just being in the real estate industry dealing with mortgage lenders and lenders all the time uh i see that uh i've learned this actually from jordan belfort because jordan belfort came on the channel wolf of wall street you guys have right. you seen that movie yeah. uh he has a youtube video talking about pitching to lenders if you're ever starting a car hauling company um it starts it all starts with an idea right you know cool. it all starts with an idea but Pitch, and pitching ideas, pitching ideas is important. great. But once you start and you actually show a lender that you're taking the next step, not just having the idea, like have the you know the slide, a presentation that you're serious, but also add something else. Like I've spent you know a year building my credit, or you know here is nice. uh, I've got money that I'm I'm willing to put down and, and do this, or you know go to the next step, or I've already got a car picked out. Here's the car. Here's the trailer. Here much. How, this is how much it's gonna yield me. Do business the numbers, plan. right? Do the whole business plan. Have partners so, come in. Have people write recommendation so, yeah. letters. Go like awesome. serious into it. I like you know? it. I like it a lot. The, the, the ten slide presentation again. The company, the company would have the name, mission, your mission statement, um, the problem, problem in the industry, the solution, the solution you wanna solve. The, which the is pretty problem. simple, car hauling, which is they, great. The competitive advantage, why your business model is better than another one. The um, the competition. And if and in, projections. Cre in creating oh, these. Oh, and team, team also. In creating these slides, if you see a weakness, don't glaze over it. Talk to other car haulers and fix your weakness. Yeah, do surveys too. Uh, Go to Vegas. Know your weakness. Jay. My favorite. Yeah, thing. I like That's this idea. Great. Go to Vegas, dude. That <laughs> That'd would be, be cool. great. That would be great. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, okay. Maybe we can do Vegas That's in like here. the late spring or something. And oh, and by the way, I know that um, Truckify is talking about checking out their new free car hauling app in Ports Bols. I've seen a few messages here, so Truckify has got something to tell us about. So um, you can go ahead and. I guess you can click on a link there. That's cool, Spam. man. No, I mean, that's what well, I love that um, the word is getting out to tune in. And, and, and I always say that if you've got a product, service, company, um, there's something you want to talk Maybe you got a life hack. You want to put socks on straps, whatever it is. Join Auto Transport Intel Ecosystem and share the good news. So I do encourage that. Um, so I tell you what, guys, we are, we're at 1040. They're going to close in 20 minutes. We could really do them a favor by being ready to go when they're ready to go and not keeping them here late. Well, yeah, we could do another 10 minutes. Okay. So we'll go 10 more minutes Let's and then we'll stop. Minutes. All right. Cool. Cool. So anybody need more tea? I actually I have one over here. I'm going to get some. Okay. Get some tea. How team. many car haulers do you think are out there? That is a good question. Um, 
if you add up, the see the thing is you have to figure out what's... There's, there's what, two million DOT numbers out there. <coughs> How many car haulers are out there? Anybody know? Anybody know? I'm, I'm just going to throw out a number. I'm going to say 25,000. 25,000? How many cars are out there to be that are dispatched every day through the dispatching boards? Say it again. How many what? When you search all to all on central oh, dispatch, about forty thousand a day. Forty thousand. Yeah, but that's man. but that's just the leftovers. That's just that moment. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, so yeah that doesn't people, account for all the customers. It could be a hundred thousand. And all the contracts. It could be a hundred thousand. It's I bet it's two hundred thousand. All the cars. I mean, you're talking. Think of it. Think of OEM. Jay's full and tired. Lamo. Yeah. What do we got? Jay's full and tired. I know, 6,779. Like, how do you know that? How do you, how, how do you know that, Paul? Um, oh. 6,779? Yeah, no, I think the total cars moving every day. I mean, thank you, Yuri. I mean everything. Um, They're very you, attentive. The, I mean, I always I, invite every Yuri few minutes, start a car they, they come by to check on it. I love it. And it's been that way all day. Um, uh, where are we? We're at Crepes Tea House. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's what Serge was talking about. This is the menu. You want to come here. You want to go through the menu. You've got tons of tea, food. Oh, and you've seen it on the... We got it, man. It's sitting here. I can't even eat it all. Um, when you consider all the new and used cars... Across all load boards, all auctions, all dealerships, all manufacturers, railheads, yards, plants. What was it, 200000 a day? I don't know. Easily. Right? It's probably. It which seems crazy. Just seeing what, like, the company I was with, like, they'll just cancel a load of me, send me another one. I'm like, you guys got that many loads that you could just switch. And then... It's like there's so many out there. There's so much demand. Now I'm sitting in an Amazon facility, and there's so many trucks lined up, and they don't have enough trucks going out that they do coming in. Oh. And they, you know, it's it's right. an ever it's an ever ending demand. I saw that when I first got in this company. You know, like first got my CD when I was a newbie. I was a steering wheel holder. Like, there's so much demand, and the trucking industry is so easy to get work. Like, if you open up a restaurant, you need to go market to get customers. But if you have a trucking company. You just go to a load board. Boom, you're done. You got it. You don't have to really do it. Oh, there's well, some tricks and, to it. And here's the thing. Well, there's here's, more to it. But well, yes. there is. And that's where we get into rates, you know. Right. Because just moving stuff. You can't just stuff, pick anything, yeah. Yeah, just move. And that's where. <clears throat> you know your worth. That's how we, well, and that's how we know Central Dispatch does not re even represent half of all the cars moving. It doesn't. Central Dispatch is all the stuff that got posted because it didn't get moved by your friend, or your staff, or... Yeah, all the stuff right? that didn't make it on the trailer. <clears throat> yeah. I heard a really good trick, and I want to I want to give this to guys. I learned this from... Um, he's one of those famous truck driver speakers. Uh, you, you may know one of the names, but... Um, I learned this trick, and it was like to get your, you, you're talking about getting off like loads that are off the load boards. Yeah. Like before they get recycled, you know. Or yeah. Before the, you know. You want them uh, before they hit the load. What I learned, what I was told to do as a tip, was if you start your own company, talk to brokers when you're doing a lane. Don't just yes. keep popping lanes. Absolutely. Like, talk to a broker. Pick find some lanes, one niche. Talk to the brokers. Yes. And yes. talk to the brokers. Get yes. your lane. And even niche down, like what kind of car, you know, how many cars you like. Um, talk to the broker. And then the first thing I was told was either fly out to the broker, call them over the phone, do a video call, do something more creative than just a regular phone call. And uh, go, go, yeah, go up to them and say, hey, I want to build a relationship with you. Give me your, like, what's the, what's the load that you're getting the most trouble with? I want to take care of that for you. And you do that and they'll be like, Okay, what's well, your company? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. Take care of the true. load that they don't, they, they're just getting haggled with at all times and they hate. Take that load for them, do it two or three times. Now, don't keep it there and then ask them for the good stuff. So, check this out. Darius, we're just talking about that. that it, listen, if you think you need another load board, what you need is another way to get loads. Because Central Dispatch unfortunately is as good as it gets right now 
I, I, listen, I don't want to rain on anybody's parade, and there's there's some other marketplaces and places to get loads, and I think it's, yeah, we, we, we need to get on to other load boards and have people develop, but what we really need is to uh, tap into people you've already worked with and build your network and your customer relationships. That's follow what up you and do a survey. Do. Hey, do we have to? Were do. they happy? You know. <clears throat> Mark says yes, yes, yes. All right, Mark. Thank Jay, you. What's the number one word? It's in not easy. Business? Thank what's you. The number one for word. The idea. Cash flow. The one green dollar after you pay your expenses. Well, right. Well, you're right. And right. even dealers will say they'll take a loss on some inventory to increase their cash flow. I also do think that the truck driving industry is lacking in uh, learning their taxes. I, I see that with truck drivers, even my own dad. That's a great point. I think that truck drivers really need to study legal tax code and really... <laughs> I know it gets really... Yeah, that doesn't really cross well, but... <laughs> well... What, you get what, what I'm saying. I do. And, right what, so, and the answer is you pay less somebody money. needs to help educate yes. while they're on the road, et right. cetera. Because to just say, and that's the thing, is to just say, well. I suggest Mark Kohler, any of his books. Oh, that's he, good. He kills it in the tax industry. You can use your kids. If your kid can push a broom on the back of your trailer or you know whatever you're doing, you can have huge tax write-offs just off that. I mean, there's so well, such now that's really, really interesting, stuff, really great right? ways. Yeah, there's a lot more of it. If you have a vehicle over 6,500 pounds, it's a GI Bill that the Bush came out with uh, around 9/11 when it happened. Any vehicle over 6,500 pounds, you can write it off 100% the first year if you pay cash for it. See now that I mean that'd be a whole YouTube show. Tax the yeah. trucking tax, tax. tax. and there and I actually know like. Uh, Express Truck Tax is a YouTube channel and a company, but I don't think that they've gone in depth into all the ways to educate and help drivers. I mean, they do videos, but there's so much to know. And so there's room for more YouTubers on these topics. Right. Just like, well, Auto Transport Intel is the end all be all. But having said that there is room for and that's why actually why i reach out to other youtubers that's how we met and i continue to reach out to other youtubers because there's a lot of room to educate make videos and to help this is a huge industry yeah a lot of services that don't get tapped into yeah and then there's always subjects to touch upon again to revisit to you know because there's so much look at that Mark says, marketing. Hmm. It just so happens that um, I have always been interested in marketing. I did end up with a degree in marketing. Really? Yeah. And so, did it teach you the basics? Uh, absolutely. Product and price and inventory. It's changed. Branding. It? Oh, oh, gosh. That's I, the I crazy thing about marketing. It always changes. Well, that's. Oh, I'll tell you what. What's really fascinating is that when I got a marketing degree, was old media. there wasn't even social media. Yeah, you have old media. I'm in new and, media. And like. that's it. Well, what's cool is social media marketing was the kind of dream that people only could just think of. Right. Like Facebook advertising, that was a dream. Now you can, on Facebook advertising, you can even, you can target someone like, with a, a platinum credit card. You can, yes. it's so crazy, the Everything. targeting. Just total targeting. And that, yeah. So target marketing was a class, and it was just usually most of it. It was a lot of dreams. It took it took way too much money to find your specific demographics. I mean, it, that think, money was spent. I think putting but. marketing like what they're saying with Carline with marketing, um, a trick that I use, I learned from Russell Brunson that can go into any business. You can use it in car hauling. Uh, is reverse engineering method, where yeah. we were talking about surveys for search in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Uh, reverse engineering, doing surveys, uh, asking customers what they want car haulers to do, what 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 they like about car hauling, what they like about. But there's uh, a slippery slope. Yes. If you ask a regular person what they wish a trucker would do, trucker car hauler, I think they could put you to sleep with demands. Well, this, here comes the next part. This is where you get. I'll the tell you what. Knowledge. I want. The, I want the survey. I want trucker to truckers to ask people what they wish they would do. Nobody asked that. <laughs> right? Well, well the, the other thing is, too. One, move over. Two, signal. Three, you know. 
<laughs> Stop texting. Turn signals and texting. I hate that. Okay. The 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 uh, the good thing is for the reverse engineering, find the top ten car hauling companies in the nation. Go to their website. Call them up. Go through their oh, yeah. whole service. Oh, and now tell you what. Now reverse engineer how they're doing their company. And that's another thing. And model it to yourself. That's one of the things that I want to do as we move into next month is fleet February. And as I as I talk to more fleets, yeah, I want to start learning. I, I do all kind of want to start looking into that stuff as well. What time did you get up this morning? 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Right. And you guys have been driving Same. all day? Yeah. I got to sleep on the plane a couple times, so I did. I nodded off on the plane a couple times. I slept on both legs of my you know, trip. You know, it's like it's getting cool. lit in the live chat, like when we're about to get off. Right, exactly. Then it'll go crazy. Listen, I want to say I want to thank you guys. You guys have really participated a lot. I appreciate you um, letting us put on this live experiment, and I think I, I would consider this a success. Honestly, this was way more interesting than I, I could have hoped. I didn't know what was going to happen. We're just maybe we're gonna play sit around and look at each other for an hour, <laughs> yeah, you know. Look at camera, happened, look at you, look back at camera. Nice drink really rough, some tea, <laughs> look out the window. Let's go look it at could the have cab overs. I, I, I want to ask you about the cab overs at the yard. Yeah, have you seen so many cab overs car haulers before? You know, um, it's been a while since you've seen. I actually pay more attention to cab overs because of when you talk about it. I never really thought about it that much and you're right. But there's you don't a whole see bunch it. here. Yeah, there are. It's like Is it a European is it a European? There he is Dan. Thing? Thanks. Oh, there's Dan. Come on in. Hey, what's Come up, on Dan? In. Yeah, That's man. My dispatcher. He's afraid because you know, I have a pie under the table ready he to likes uh, <laughs> put it in his face. For no, you know what he did? He sent me one hour off my route to pick up the car. I said, Hey, <laughs> I can't do that. He said, Yeah you can. And then uh, we have a disagreement. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll. Uh, there's okay. never been a food fight here yet, so I don't know. No, it's not going to be tonight. Maybe in <laughs> six gonna, months. Dan, come here. Sit. Yeah, say come hi. And say hello, Dan. We're gonna because we're gonna wrap up real shortly. Comrade, I have machinery to. I want to say that. So when I flew in today. Dan was very helpful in getting this situated. My, I introduced him before airport. as the psychopath dispatcher, great. but that's because the nature of dispatching is psychopathic. It, exactly. Dan's actually a cool guy. Dispatching you know, makes you crazy. You know, I, the first time I had lunch with him, he was answering like two phones with the other dispatcher. <laughs> it's me. I, I had to get out of there. I had to get out of there. Remember that? The soup <laughs> at the Vietnamese place? Oh, yeah. I was like... They're, they're, if someone calls him, is that car getting dispatched? You know, like, what did you say? You said, like, oh, yeah, dispatching. He knew, is... like, he was keeping track of seven trucks. And he knew where each one was going and when they're going to be, wherever they had to go. I was like, wow, that's genius. Yeah. It, so it, it takes. You know, a dispatcher when you. It is. It's crazy. It'll make you, you know, nuts. Do you dream about dispatching? <laughs> no, I've done it. I've, I, oh, I've oh, I've I, I don't know how many cars I've dispatched in my dreams. That sounds hey, like a hey, book. Hey, search, tell us about Beth real quick. <laughs> Wait. And no, Hi, Beth. No, no. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, hey, it's, what, what? She did call the other day, said her husband passed away. So uh, sorry to hear okay. that. Um, our you know, condolences, but, Beth. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, our condolences. You know, we're all like a family. You know, and. Um, we all try hard. This is a community in industry, yeah. and um, all right, it is. Yeah. And I really do listen. I I really try to help bridge the gaps when they when they appear. There's not a lot of IMS drama. IMS is made in China. There is not a lot of drama on the show, and I want to keep it that way. I really do. So, and this is great tea. Now it's been here a while, so it's not real hot. Like, Thank you guys. But. Tea. Yeah, so, um, yeah, everybody fill up your tea. Let's have a... I got you, I got you. Oh, awesome. Let's so do a cheers. You, see, you want to do a cheers? cheers? Absolutely. Let's do Search. do you have a tea cup? Let's I'll do a drink cheers. out of my auto transport Intel. Awesome. This has been a... So, uh, Jay, can you do a cheer? Can you do a toast? I'll do a toast. Thank you. Oh, yeah, here, we got to get that. We, we got to watch our label. we got to get our label. To, uh, to success. Listen, I, I want to say, uh, listen, I want to thank... 
Um, Serge, I want to thank you. And Dan, I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys for hosting me here. I want to thank Crepes Tea House for uh, having me here today and uh, allowing us to have probably one of the first car hauler meetups that I know of. Um, maybe the first one live on YouTube. And I would, I mean, it's small. Things start small. And I think the next one will be bigger. And I assume that we're going to keep doing these. And maybe, maybe somebody out there will start their own car hauler meetup. This isn't the only one. So, you know, I want to, I want to say thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jay. Thanks thank for you, Jay, for coming. Yeah, man. Let's awesome. go over one person over the capacity next time, huh? Okay. <laughs> we, we just got to do something illegal. Just you know. Dying to have a bust. <laughs> well, well, I mean, maybe no bust, but we got to do something a little bit on the edge, you know? Okay. All right. Well, Jay I agree to it. I Listen, Jay agreed to go on. Uh, you know, to go on a red light. I'm a, We're saving America. We're saving the American dream through car hauling, through YouTube videos. Can you believe that, guys? It's like the American PewDiePie American. playing video games and his parents. It's a like community. It. We are making a difference. Community yeah. pot. Yeah. Everything, yeah. yeah. I, I've been eating. I've been eating all over the place. So <laughs> that's chicken. That's chicken. Yeah. I want to try that. Chicken Napoleon. What's your review, Jay, of the? Food? Oh, I have the oh, foods. Okay. Look, I, man, I've eaten a lot. See, here. Right. This you mind was, if I dive into this? This was just a success. Dive into it. Guys, all the viewers, Crepes Tea House, West Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, when you're coming by Northeast, this is where you go. It's, it's like that song. My mm. posse's on Broadway. My car hauler's mm. on the interstate. Me wow. and Ilya... Il, no, it's... How did it go? Me and Ilya Matuska at home away from home with the... <laughs> right, we had to get some... Oh, that was car last thing. And a cellular phone we calling didn't, up the dispatcher. We didn't talk about <laughs> Russian no, car we, we make parodies of songs when we go. Tell me something Trips about... is the place where all the comrades hang Russian. out. They got yeah. room in the back for your rig to stretch out. Tell me something about Russian car hauling that I don't know. Russian car Yeah. Um, what could you say? It's much bigger than I realize? I don't know. I can say something. Yeah, I'd say there's a lot of Eastern Europeans, Europeans, car hall. Yeah, a whole lot. So basically, a little background. Um, about 20, 20, 30 years ago, when uh, there was a big immigration of Eastern European people, a lot of people didn't speak the language, and they had two choices: do construction or get in a truck and haul produce. And uh, that was the primary uh, hauling freight, produce, reefer. reefer. And then only about 15 years ago, car hauling became popular through a few pioneers. And it, it kind of blew up in the Slavic and Eastern Community. European Here. community and drivers. In this town. Uh, in this town and across America. That's interesting. So it, it really was reefer, freight. And now it's more flatbed and more car haulers. It's a real mix and diverse. You guys, diverse. half the yard back here, That's two really blocks away, is flatbeds. We got to give them a run for their money. We got to make more car haulers. Remember, car <laughs> hauling? We got to make a little clip. Comrade, I do have 15 flatbeds and I have 14 car haulers. We need more. There is. This, this yard isn't there big is, there the is the You house. have like this narrative. Uh, there is a there is is something inside of you that wants to draw out the narrative in 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 stories and that's that's not a bad thing it's, it's, it's show something business. in you we got to like you have some show, surge has some show business in you that's what it is you know we we got to like well there's a lot of action that happens at the yard you know you show up to just go on i mean these guys are just geniuses okay you see the okay these all these <laughs> cab overs, right? No, I think we're, we're now in the we are now in the after show. These cab overs <laughs> out here, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I enjoy working on them is because I know they're disappearing. Everyone knows they're di disappearing. The cab overs, yeah, they're just like slowly going to be gone. And so, I know it's kind of uncomfortable to drive them sometimes. You're crammed they're in there. They're profitable. They're like the sweet spot. 
of car hauling. That's why all the comrades like him because it's enclosed. But not six, it's eight. It's eight. Six eight. is hard side and it's preferred. But those are who are hauling eight really so, do see so, that proper. So a lot of these cab overs, they're all like most of them are gone. A lot of them showed up here. That the yard you've seen today was one of the yards. Okay. Um, the company I worked we both worked at for the last year. Okay. Genius guys. Okay, I show up to the yard, I see this one of these cab overs, the whole thing is taken apart to the bones, I'm telling you, to the molecules. They take it apart to the bare frame, cut out the floors, cut out the roof, the sides, everything. And because, you know, it had some rust that rusted from within. Right. You know, all of them need to go through this rebuilt process because they're like 20 years old now. They're like 2,000 models. Okay, so I come back from another trip, I was like, hey, where was that truck that was here last week when I went on the road that was all cut up? They're like, it's all welded together with new steel on the road, hauling wow. cars right now. Awesome. I was like, you guys got an assembly line going on here. You know? There is. So, like, I don't know how many how many cab overs went through that system. I just want to say this. There's a, there, like, there's a welder. There's a guy making Facebook videos. He's a welder. And he, he, he's just a welder, makes Facebook videos, fascinating, watching him, his before and after work. So if you're... If, shop I, I will say this, if, if you specialize, if you have a specialization... I'd like to see, Paul says, I'd like to see a cab over with 14... Thousand donut shop, I'm dead. <laughs> no one wants a noisy cab. You know... Yes, no one wants a noisy cab, 100%. I don't know what it is about cab overs. I just like the way they look or something. It's a European. It's a really European type truck. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying them while I can. You know, I know this isn't going to be, you know, all the time. <laughs> yeah, so. but if you guys make a good point. I mean, if it's about profitability, then I mean, you know, it's a pretty and, good reason. And actually. Loading a, a, a car RBC cab over, not that difficult. Easy not that difficult. Easy. Easy breeze. Okay. Like Sergio said. It takes, okay, the fastest I, I did on my ELD from uh, going out of the truck and back into it after I, uh, to unload a car was nine Wait, minutes. what is buckwheat? Oh, that's, uh, I think he means, what's the wheat? What's the wheat that you, uh. Do you to zoom in or no? Oh mine. <laughs> right. Oh, Hello, oh yeah. Too. Well, this is well. No, this is is this buckwheat? Right there. Oh, that's buckwheat. Yeah. Well, we can do oh, it. I thought you know what buckwheat is. I thought he was talking about. Uh, that is health. I thought he was talking about the shake stuff that you were talking about. Sergio, can you explain how to do it in your truck? You uh, make buckwheat in your truck. Yeah, dude. What easy breezy. You go to the Russian store. Another reason why you guys yeah, got to no come Russian down. Store. Just, no, it's two blocks down. Where else, down you get, buckwheat. Where else <laughs> can you get buckwheat? No Russian. They don't have Russian store. stores where they're you from. Could, yeah. Sometimes at the Whole Foods. <laughs> Whole Foods. Okay. The, uh, whole, right. Whole paycheck. Well, first you go down to the Indian <laughs> store. <laughs> like what? Well, hello, buckwheat. Um, yeah. So uh, funny, you dude. just go, you just take your thermos. And you fill it up with hot water from the, the, uh, the, where all the, you know how everyone has the coffee mugs? What's in the middle? Is that a pepper? Egg or plant? a pickle? Oh, it's a pickle? Yeah. Oh, something. wow. Is it, is it work? So you just, uh, oh, wow. you just get yourself hot water in the thermos, so throw some share? buckwheat in there. What, sure, what? Chicken? It's a chicken oh, with yeah, a pickle in it? Wow. Thank you, sir. Wow. It's a big one. The chicken Napoleon for three. Wow. Everything is big at Krebs Tea House. Yeah. Big, no. like Texas size. Like your I'm mom still trying. Look at see, this. So, I've been eating for two hours. So, so Soviet moms are like, Kushai sin nochi, which means just keep eating, boy. <laughs> you know? Kushai <laughs> sin nochi. So, um, yeah, you just throw the buckwheat in the hot water from the mm. coffee wow. dispensers in the truck stop. I mean, and there you go. Five awesome. minutes later, add some salsa to it, add some honey, the maple syrup. Easy breezy. I'm going to say it again, man. Hmm. Grapes Tea House. I love this food. It's really, oh my goodness. really awesome. The window keeps 
I this know. is like a troll. Oh, I know. It's been trolling us all night. It is. Like these you pancakes. Can, you can pass messages along to the to the other tables. You've got uh Oh man. Mediterranean dishes. Oh, here's some of the buckwheat. Hmm? This is awesome, man. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so much there's so much to eat here. And um yeah, I really, really hope that even just a few people <laughs> that didn't know fun. about this tea house come here, drink the tea, eat the food, hang out. Really, it's great. We've been here for, do we've been live for two hours now. We were going to stop like 15 minutes ago, but I'll tell you what, it's after 11. I think we should wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. All right, yeah. guys. Yeah. Comrade. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. Thank you. To my comrades. Spasiba. All right. I mean, well, I don't know if I can say that live on YouTube or not, but thank you guys so much. Oh. Hey. And that's it. Say hello. Скажи привет на YouTube. Привет. That's it. We're not open. That's it. Okay, it's a close. It's official. Okay. So. Yeah, we're live on YouTube right now. Yeah, we're live streaming. Here's our. We've been live for two two hours and five minutes. So now it's official. You know what I'm gonna do. What I always do at the end of a show, thank you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in for another live Auto Transport Intel on Tuesday Nights Live. Every Tuesday, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Central. I will see you guys the next Tuesday night again. we got a big show planned. We've got a lot happening. And we'll be live again. We're going to do another car hauler meetup sometime soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and let us, letting us into your homes to be a part of this experiment. I'm going to start up the car hauler. And don't drive like my brother. And don't drive like my brother. All right, here it comes. Peace out, you guys. Later. Later.